here uh, uh, more of last epoch today level 56 if i remember correctly so yesterday in a two parts of the uh, stream we got uh, 20 levels in about eight hours which is i would say uh, quite a slow progress uh, again it's a problem me because other people are progressing faster way faster than this uh, we're still trying to get through those dialogues uh, and stuff with Clown Fiesta, how much of Clown Fiesta they are. Anyway, anyway, uh, hopefully we are somewhere closer finishing in the main campaign. Hopefully we starting, uh, we will start finally getting some uh, pieces of sets uh, that can complement my build uh, as a curse build. Uh, that will be a very uh, appreciative if you get that. Uh, so far we have uh, so only two items from a set and none of them are uh, really that important for... One, one of them not from my build at all and another one I just need more pieces of a set. So for now uh, all the build is about uh, actually getting the, the item base and crafting uh, affixes then I need onto that item base uh, since uh, uh, what affixes we need we, we need like six affixes to be interesting like physical resistance elemental resistance void resistance uh, necrotic damage spell damage uh, intelligence uh, did I forgot another one that that's six but I think there is uh, one another one that we need and so as much as like we can uh, find a good base for it and if you can craft it on 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 that base uh then then we good but for now like every item is uh, kind of blue so we, but we're getting all these resistances the void resistance could be a better uh we still have one slot for the idol uh, but we're missing some idols here uh, so uh, well, we missing a lot of idols. We, we we left like in that hardcore uh, part of the playthrough. Uh, we need to find some shrine that drop in idols uh, to supplement for this. Anyway, uh, the rotation the rotation didn't change at all. So I do really thinking about removing harvest here, uh, so it's, uh, scaling with with the dexterity and I'm getting any. Uh, any any uh, actual scale so it does have like uh, an effective uh, by weapon range uh, added uh, applied 70% of like a common uh, curse thing that mark for a death spawn curse and spirit spirit like so uh, we get in this uh, 58 million necrotic damage flat from my intelligence one per intelligent point is it have 58 uh, but like intelligence scaling over here, for example, is uh, two hundred thirty-two uh, percent, right? It's like four percent for uh, per intelligence. Uh, so like we we would like to to have uh, something that actually scaling his intelligence more for this build. How is good, but not really that necessary. And uh, I think we're getting uh, okay on my mana generation, on mana consumption. Uh, so like instead instead of harvest we could do uh, a much of the same thing but with uh, uh with maybe 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 uh the cow's bolts right so there'll be more skills from um uh, warlock tree more skills well more or less the same thing there's mark of locus actually uh, kind of good here uh, getting a wizard chance, uh, getting a wizard here. A wizard is uh, increased damage taken from curses by ten percent. Uh, so that that's good. Like even if you hit the enemy like one time, uh, that can do something to it. And um, we do get a wizard from a passive, do we? At some point, uh, haste. Okay. Does Brindir Angush spell for curses? Angush, uh, where we get a wizard? Okay, wizard enchants 100 and hit. So that, that, that's what we're getting. 
That's what getting them taking a lot less damage from uh, wizard enemies as well. All of those damage reduction didn't save me from from the tiger uh, that one shot at me yesterday. So I was watching or watching the video, and I found out the tiger lead that kill us have a very interesting affix to it. He uh, increasing its damage uh, on hit. Right, so we hit the enemy, uh, it's increased his damage, and then he retaliated, and it uh, was enough to one shoot me for all of my defenses, for all of those uh, damage reduction things we have. Uh, that was very interesting the mechanic, and something I definitely wasn't prepared for. It's honestly hard to prepare for it. Anyway, uh, Divine Era, uh, jumping back there, so we have... Uh, some stuff to do here in Divine Era. Some quest to quest. Quest to quest. Okay. That sounds a little bit wrong. Alright, uh, right. So, like, where is. Uh... Actual way? Uh, we can. Try to check the shop. So, like, we didn't uh, discover this, uh, this things uh, yesterday. A plan focus, uh, which just could be like way better. If an offhand item that my current item is, or his word retention thing, is getting basically the same stuff that my current offhand given, but it's also having that third parameter that's the word retention, which is uh, can increase the amount of word we have. Mm hmm So I think this uh, could be got a good item. This could be also a good item. Uh, armor, endurance. All right, intelligence roll at uh, tier one. The mental resistance, lightning resistance. You know that's not bad. Not bad, but we can uh, slot the void resistance into it. All right. So we need something like that have, uh, to have the void resistance. So they have all the resistances over here already. Um, yeah. We have all the resistances here already. Uh, Set like elemental resistance is good. I think uh, what I should do... I should just uh, patch this here. And keep it as a base when we get, uh, have more currency to play with. Or uh, another item so I can replace and get the, the void resistance over there. Void resistance 25. Uh, we can still increase my void resistance by forging over uh, this item over here. Let's try to preserve as much as. Uh, oh my god! It's minus forging potential. I was like, let's try fucking preserve more. Uh, forging potential in this land and remove all the uh, forging potential right away. Dude, this is so stupid. It's like literally uh, so stupid, this crafting system over here. How randomly it's removing this. Even having this like chance to have no forging potential removed. I wonder if there's a better, uh, better sense that can guarantee uh, preserve with at least 50 50 preserve your forging potential. Uh, the items here is way easier to break uh, compared to compared to the Diablo, for example. We just think the Diablo have a similar crafting system. Well, at least we get my avoid resistance also uh, max out. So only physical resistance lock in 2% here. Uh, honestly, the item resistances for this game was uh, kind of easier. Kind of like way easier uh, compared to while well, other games we're playing. Okay, maybe maybe it's as easy if you have like all the components you already uh, prepared in your uh, Grim Dawn character, and if you're playing Grim Dawn on normal difficulty. But definitely like when we play in Grim Dawn, it's always like ultimate difficulty, so uh, it's feeling it's way harder to get resistances on ultimate difficulty, obviously. How does Flux? Uh, welcome, welcome, greetings, mate. So, how is going for you? How is going for you? Uh, did you go to your sub mastery already? Oh, 
This guy was doing some damage. This guy was doing. Oh my god! I pressed an M like to check out the where I need to go. So this is the main objective. We need to side objective somewhere in this area. So it's looking like those guys dealing the poison damage. So we got a marksman. It's a rock class. No, not a bird, not a falconer. Ridiculous. They're idle. Increase skills for generations. Physical resistance. Uh, we can we can get this idle. Let's actually get my physical resistance to <laughs> to max it out. Right, so we, we do have like all the resistances here, all the resistances we need, we we want. Experience is trying nice. No burst on uh, only my trusty bow. What what else what else do you need? Well, okay, it's a trusty bow and some hobbits to come to supplement the the mission of a bird. They're not going anywhere, but I'm going. I'm going whenever I want. Those fools that don't know who, who they're dealing with. Okay. It's very, very, very interesting how my uh, 75 uh, poison resistance is not doing anything here. To fight those guys. Oh my god, look, look at the health, look at the health drop. Ridiculous. By the way, I saw a blessings uh, give resistances. Uh, got any yet? Blessings? Uh, no blessings, like from shrines? Nope. Didn't got anything like that. I have the, the pagan idols who give you resistances. But they are no blessings. Just tribute to all uh, heretic gods. Okay, that's the guy we needed to kill. Oh, you can't believe the gear idols, right? Some about uh, monolith death things. Uh, no, no monolith. Is, is this like some end game shit? Yeah, no idea, mate. Didn't didn't saw any uh, any of that thing. Yeah, I just kept it for the gear. It's very easy to do. So, right. So like, uh, it's basically uh, the system. They they were uh, th this system. This game has. It's uh, the Path of Exile system, uh, when it's come to gear, at least when it's not coming from any set gear, right? I think that there, this, this game has sets, which is, I, I found like two items of a set so far, and uh, yeah, that, 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 that's <laughs> what we got so far, but uh, so uh, when it comes to normal gear, it's following very likely uh, Pacific style example. So we have item base. For example, we have this uh, runestone of uh, runestone base, which is giving you like 14 intelligence or like intelligence from like range from 8 to 14 and some word per, per second from 20 to 30. Uh, you're getting like trying to, to roll for this highest as possible, right? And then come in uh, four affixes you can add to. Uh, to this, uh, the suffix is always like uh, uh, resistances. Uh, you want like elemental resistance in our case. Uh, for me, like you can add uh, another suffix over here, uh, so we can get like another resistance, like cold resistance or any like defensive affix here. Void resistance. 
And we're just like uh, looking for the items that have at least a one resistant artifacts you want. Or may another maybe like three that you can add. And then you just like leveling up. However, it's like very easy here to break the item because this rolls uh, for fortune potential. They can uh, sometimes they can take one fortune potential up until you level up, and sometimes you just get in your, uh, just get in your like uh, all the fortune potential for one level up, and you okay, I can do anything with the item after. I wonder if there's any fortune potential all, all here. So all normal magical rare and exalted items spawn with a random amount of fortune potential. Most crafting actions consume a random amount of fortune potential. Once an item has zero fortune potential, it cannot be crafted or any more, other than shattering. So like it, it's all random. And uh, I have very little control over this randomness. There is this like a glyph of hope that giving you 25% chance to not consume uh, fortune potential, but it's still random at the, uh, at the end. And so far, it didn't work <laughs> that well for me. So uh, this is what uh, fortune potential means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, when you add it or level and up your current. Uh, uh, elemental resistance, for example, if I want to level this up, all right, uh, it can consume from a 1 to 12 fortune potential and random to upgrade this affix. And sometimes you're just consuming all of it right away, and it's okay, what do I do? I have a good base item, but I can't do anything out with this anymore. So it is kind of simplified system. Uh, they have a similar system in Diablo too, uh, with this forging potential, and uh, no, not forging potential, but uh, overall playing with item affixes you can remove. It was uh, very hard to uh, to to play to to craft in Diablo uh, pre-season, like uh, in Diablo season one, Diablo season two did improve it dramatically, and the people saying the season three did improve, but we haven't like play that much into the season 3. Um, however, like, they have, you, you have, you, you can play with uh, Diablo items way uh, for too longer before you break them. And the cap, uh, uh, what do you mean break, uh, to break item in Diablo? You just, you're running to uh, spend so much gold on item that like further leveling up affixes will cost you uh, too many, uh, too much gold that uh, it's better to find a new base. Instead. Uh, that, that's at least what was the precision shit. Uh, but that improving on it. Uh, and you can play with these items for far longer than you can play with items at least so far with... Uh, in in uh, last epoch. So in my opinion, last epoch breaking items uh, way, way faster. That would ever happen in Diablo. And the amount, like, you're, you know, the amount of items this game is dropping, it's so, so big, but they, they, they all look so useless. They're all so useless, most of the time. It's really hard to get a, a good base item that you can craft on. That's what I'm uh, finding out about this game so far. So I need to uh, look into uh, blue items. You can you can uh, easily craft like if you have a good blue item base, you can cr easily craft them into yellow item by adding additional affix. So it just uh, amount if you get lucky with the fortune potential and uh, you're not gonna break it right away. Uh, so this uh, stone, a rune stone, is actually was crafted. It's yellow now, but it was crafted from from a blue item. Basically, blue item is meaning it only have two affixes. Uh, if it's having more than two affixes, it's a, it's a yellow item. That's how they uh, classify the items, like in terms of rarity here. So blue items is uh, still uh, good if, as, as long as you can get uh, right affix, yeah. Yeah, and it's like only like you dropping items, don't forge it yet. It uh, absolutely needed to. 
uh, to get those uh, resistances to improve your uh, basically potential for me like uh, everything scaling or oh, my, my cursor scaling with intelligence and uh, a big scale of, uh, buff for me from crafting 232 uh, damage increase uh, because of intelligence and you get intelligence bunch of intelligence and items here light intelligence on this uh, the only thing is uh, you can you can craft higher than uh, you know, we can upgrade this one. You can ha craft higher than tier 4. Uh, that's the only thing I have problem with. Okay, we want to uh, upgrade this. Tier tier 5, tier 5 I mean. Uh, tier 5 is highest uh, craft craftable uh, tier 4. So we have from 1 to 24. My item have currently 19 potential fortune potential meaning i can uh, even add something over here right uh, something uh, different like more damage uh um you know, health damage reflection mm. i don't have like uh, i don't have a uh, necrotic okay I, I want necrotic damage here but i don't have like necrotic uh, shard so I can get a spell damage and necrotic damage to this uh, to the prefix, and uh, well, I don't have them, so I do want to preserve as much of uh, fortune potential here as possible. However, we have this chance. We have a chance, twenty five percent, not to uh, use any uh, fortune potential, but if we uh, use it, it can shoot up to twenty four over here, removing all of this here. So let's see how lucky we are. It's remove nineteen for the fortune potential. Fuck, fuck! It just—you see what, what what I mean? It just break my item right away. I have still potential to actually add, uh, make it better, add like damage over here with necrotic damage and level up it, and it's remove like whole nineteen potential right away. It could have been one. It could have been two. It could be like zero if this twenty five percent chance worked. So five didn't work for me at all, <laughs> and it just break the item. That, that, that's what happened, like, that, that's uh, why this crafting sh system is a little bit bullshittery. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All this explanation, I, I just, like, went and break it right away with first try. No challenge at all. <laughs> this game, this game is total bullshit. Also, the poison damage those guys are dealing, it's all side on the stand. We have over a maximum, right? So even if they are reducing my resistances to poison, I should be have like 18. Ah, uh, yeah, the poison damage is so. Maybe there should be like maximum fortune usage, like five or uh, or ten. Yeah, max. Uh, th there's definitely should be maximum cap, right? There's definitely should be maximum cap. Uh, not, not, not uh, that not like removing your whole po forging potential right away with one usage of your uh, forge. Okay, so admittedly we were trying to uh, we were trying to forge uh, into uh, last tier of the item, like in tier five. Uh, let's. Forging po possible to, to forge, so they uh, kind of maybe high, uh, have a higher price, but the higher price uh, was resulting in removing all the forging potential right away from my item. I'm going everywhere. 
I'm going everywhere. So what do we have here? A boss fight. Uh, so definitely, like, uh, at the current state, uh, the Diablo, uh, the, the only the game I can compare the crafting here is so Diablo, because it's very sim similar. The, Diablo, the, the one problem, like, uh, with Diablo, you only can replay, uh, remove uh, one affix in Diablo. You can craft only uh, on the one affix, and you can uh, continuously craft him uh, as long as you, you can. So, like, for Diablo, when uh, finding... Uh, base items to craft upon is the same problem as fighting a base item for this item for, for this game this game have a problem that uh, this base item that there is too many too many items uh to find you, you're getting like too many items from a different other classes that you you're never going to be using on your build right and the, the spread is so far it's really hard to get to find out this uh uh rune, rune storm for example for my ba base item uh, to craft on uh really hard to and uh, in the Diablo cases, uh, you need to, uh, if you uh, choose the base item you want to craft upon, you need to find uh, three other stats you want from that uh, base item, at least to be in uh, acceptable range, uh, after you can uh, change uh, the third stat only you, because out of four stats an item, or five stats, like, depending on an item, you can only change one, uh, one stat, so... Uh, other other stats should be in a range or from the stats you, you actually want to see on that item and sometimes uh, it's proven to to find those kind of items also can problematic uh, obviously those two systems uh, here in last epoch and in a in a diablo they were meant to uh Increase player player time like for looking for those items. However, I, I heard the uh, the end game uh, The end game there's actually sets in this game, right? And there is a uh, target uh, Farming in in an end game for this uh, for this game So we need, need to check out the end game and see if this crafting system will be even relevant for end game right uh because most often at all you can craft up on a set right so we have a set belt over here uh but the set items they by default have zero uh fortune potential at least from from two set pieces i found so far uh you just can't change anything in in a set uh in a set item so like maybe crafting will be very uh very less relevant when we come to uh to set items and we need to toggle and like yeah people say you can target uh, farming those items so we'll see how it's gonna be later on so far uh we're leveling up here uh, we do need uh to interact with the crafting system quite often and quite often the not is uh, not a very pleasant interaction can i help you well 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 what are you doing around the place like this Ideally, trying to walk inside. Ah, that's a shame. This is a members-only sort of a deal, but I might be able to get you pass. Fair few, of course. How much is that you're going to cost me? Usually, I'm pretty lenient uh, with the fee. However, you look like you could uh, cuff up at least 100k gold. We're all about giving back to those I need and all of that. That's absurd, but fine. I don't. I only have like 8k or 11k. You made the right choice. I see that this makes it uh, to our community development program. Uh, not getting cold feet, are you? Then you want to uh, take your hard earned money unless you're absolutely sure. I'm sure. Give him 100k. So I don't have like I, I don't have 100k here. But let's see how the game gonna handle this. That, that's definitely a bug. I had like 8k, uh, 11k or something, right? And he just, it's just like, yeah, he just took my money and opened the door. Well, yeah, he took my all money, but... This is definitely a bug. This is definitely a bug. They should be like, oh, I don't have a money, so like, let's go with and use a different option. Hmm. Well... Extortion. 
Yeah, I guess like uh, people not supposed to pay. They they supposed to see a hundred case too much. We we're gonna fight the guy or whatever. All right. They maybe not supposed to pay it. Uh, that's what was developer developers like uh, idea. But we just like check it out if if it's working. And it's just uh, even if you don't have hundred k, they just taking all your money they have. Anyway, and uh, and the quest working, so I th I think I think it's a bug. I think that you should uh, if you want to take if you say hundred k, you should uh, go in and get the hundred k or use a different means to get into. It. I mean, you're still fighting here. Okay, ba back back to being a popper. So <laughs> no gold, no gold at all, chat. So 73, they, they shredded my poison resistance, but they get into 73 and it's still doing a lot of damage. Reflective shrine. That's the one I uh, least interested in. Yeah, take all the gold. <laughs> no skipping on the gold. Let's keep it on the gold. So I wonder if there's a means to get like over uh, the cap resistance of server 75. Because definitely the 75 is just uh, not doing its bare minimum. They see how much of damage they're doing, uh, even having 75% of resistance. I'm getting through my uh, energy shield and my health like very very fast. Like so, currently my active health is like around uh, more than uh, 1k, and I'm getting through this like super fast. So uh, one one thing you can say about this that you definitely have have to have uh, this seventy five resistances to everything if you want to have a fighting chance. But it's not uh, well not a surprise like for any Grim Gun player that you want to cap your resistances as fast as possible. So this guy is just like some champion and running. Because I'm slowing him like uh, all this time. <laughs> all, all he was doing is just running there. Uh, more potion slots. Well, it has zombie summons and potion use, increased minion damage. It's interesting, interesting mechanic. Summon zombie and potion use. They can also play invisible attack zombies. I actually saw like a, lo a lot of uh, necromancers using volatile zombies as a main a means of uh, attack. Search to contact, search for Alzis, a merchant, find Skelebind, uh, hide out. Die from curses over this. It's a slum. Do we have any business in the slums? So, uh... I guess we do. I guess it's a hideout, is it?
I guess we didn't have any any business there after all. So this way. They they curse me, ha, <laughs> fools! I curse you. My poison tests my necrotic magic, you fools. Yeah, the build, the, this build we're playing is like, very easy uh, to play. Very easy, like, you know, in terms of dealing damage, but we need actually some comparison with other builds. So I, uh, I'm i playing it, like, so feeling good. But it definitely have uh, some, uh, some points when you... Uh, yesterday I was, like, uh, again... Uh, looking close into the uh, tiger that kills us, and uh, he has uh, this uh, affix that giving him more damage uh, after receiving a hit from me, and I think that's what killed me with one hit, despite having all the resistances. So like uh. Some some stuff here just can can kill you right away. And you need to be careful about the affixes the, uh, of the elites you made. What brings you here? Oh my! I can tell by the sparkle in your eyes you got something for me. Uh, would you please let me uh, take a look? Be my guest. The fences uh, the fence inspects the relic a while before turning back to you. Ah yes, my client would definitely be interested in this piece. Would you be interested in uh, parting it with for 5k? I never low offer when I see it. Let's talk it over. What would you insist on a fair price will be? 200k. 2000. Hmm, alright. I think uh, the price would make us both happy. Here, take your coins, perhaps drop a uh, buy and spend some of it in my shop later. I mean, uh, there was 80k price, but it definitely was too high, right? Uh, it definitely was a trap set up for for you to take the middle ground here. I'm not the first time handling with with people. <laughs> okay, XP. Also, like rewards from those quests, like quests in terms of XP, it's it's really really too low right now. We're not getting any, uh, like I say, uh, points. Uh, uh, passive points or idle slots anymore. What brings you here? So what are you offering? A little of this, a little of that. I'm sure a few things would be of use to you, and perhaps you may come across some things that are uh, used to me. And it's in particular, nothing spe specific. But you come across any relics on those sandy wastes, I make it worth your while. And if you're looking for a fan of your anything out here, I'll go. To okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, what he ha has here. Uh, it doesn't really uh, different from any other shop here. Armor, mana, increased mana regen. So this is a uh, better a base that we have right now. This this over here uh, is better base that we have right now. Mhm. Mm it's uh, uh, not only giving you armor but uh, some mana and increased mana regen. Did you try the gambling? Yeah, I did try the gambling uh, at the beginning. Uh, it's okay. Uh, that's the only thing I can tell. If you have some cash. But, uh, like I said, getting get your base, right? Getting a base for item. So I don't know if gambling can give you, like, uh, some uh, set item or whatever, right? Uh, as far as I could uh, get from gambling, it was uh, all the yellow items, the highest tier. And in my opinion, it's just better to get like even brew item and increase it uh, if you're lucky enough. Uh, if you get that base right and uh, just improve it via crafting, it will be a way better result. So crafting is uh, for now is superior unless the gambling can give you a piece of sets right. Uh, that's that's changing all all of this uh, gambling uh, altogether. So like I say, th this item over here is a good base for us to craft in. Like you see, you have uh, more armors than my current uh, current item. Uh, it's a little bit low on fortune potential. It's have mana and increase uh, mana regen as, 
as a guaranteed stats to other item. However, like uh, all these three affixes we have, throwing damage, dodge rating, and critical strike avoidance, all of three are uh, really not good for, for me at all. Right, so we, we're looking for intelligence, uh, we're looking for uh, some maybe uh, uh, resistances, physical avoid resistance, elemental resistance, we're looking necrotic damage, and we're looking uh, into uh, spell damage here. All right, so like uh, my my item over here can th have actually four uh, four of those right affixes. Only like intelligence are good. So like I'm okay with 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 that item. Uh, I'm okay with with those gloves as long as I can put intelligence what there. In here? Right, as long as I can get intelligence here. So what we're gonna be losing? We're gonna be losing uh, endurance threshold. We're gonna be losing um, we should only care about endurance threshold uh, because like well, how the endurance works over here. Endurance is uh, you have threshold twenty percent, and if uh, your health dropping below twenty percent, uh, the damage will be uh, okay. Rather say. Reduce uh, endurance is reduced damage dealt to your health below your endurance threshold. Does not reduce damage dealt to to ward. So like, uh, if you, if my health dropping below uh, hundred seventy three, which is a threshold, uh, I receive twenty percent less damage. I mean, I, I was hit with one shot yesterday, so definitely that's not not gonna be uh, very. Uh, Useful for me right now that Andrew is threshold like we have on this item over here. I'm okay to replace it completely What brings you here? So as long as I can get this item for example, right as long as I can get this item and roll with uh, and get some intelligence uh, Over here All right, so like we, we, uh, we can get some intelligence stuff over here it could be still uh, still better than my current one. So if it's gonna get to seven uh, intelligence, will be better than my current item. Uh, yeah, we have a critical strike chance uh, on this my previous item, but that's fine. So uh, cost. But look at this. I'm putting tier one intelligent affix over here, and it could cost me from one to eighteen. Forging potential, so I can easily break uh, f uh, break the item with the first try over here. All right, so from one to eighteen, when we have sixteen over here. Let's see how lucky we are. Minus three plus one intelligence. Let's go further. Okay, we got lucky and. Uh, we got intelligence uh, throwing damage, critical uh, preserve uh, preserve fortune potential and crafting materials. So we upgraded uh, throwing damage, which we don't really care about. There we go. Sometimes uh, a critical success could happen. So a few, uh, a few times I see it. We got another intelligence. Right, so five in inventory, seven intelligence here. Uh, we got it, uh, three intelligence, and it's already, uh, it's already tier, uh, tier three, right? As it took eleven fortune potential here, and there is another three. So we got in, in the end, we got, uh, we got uh, to uh, six intelligence. We got to six intelligence, unfortunately. And we, we run out of my fortune potential, so I can increase the dodge rating, uh, critical strike avoidance. So we're gonna be sacrificing some damage over here with this item, uh, but we're getting a little bit more uh, mana regen, mana all together. Critical strike, we have 9 critical strike, this is gonna be putting me to 7 critical strike, and we have a dodge rating. So Dodge getting me uh, uh, another 5%.
chance to dodge a uh, hit from enemies in the area. So this is uh, giving me more more survivability. Damage wise, uh, 1618 compared to 1634. 1231, 1222. Uh, so there is some damage lost, but we uh, we did we did got like maybe uh, a decent item in terms of survivability because it's providing additional uh, dodge rating. However, this could be better. This could be better. What brings you here? Well, here we go. What I have here: increased minimum damage, increased minimum movement speed, increased minimum health. Yeah, that's that's not 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 a good one. Necrotic damage, increased poison damage, physical resistance. But it could have been uh, just a sample for better items here. Uh, increased spell critical chance. So melee cold damage, spell damage. So it's a for cold build. I don't care about that kind of base. Memory curses, bones of hope. <laughs> Is it what they called it? Not a paradox. Well, that's how it's worked in those games. Uh, greetings, man, tomorrow, greetings, greetings. Yeah, I was just explaining crafting mechanic a little bit. bit. Uh, how frustrating it could be. Curses, bones of hopes. I did, didn't actually pay attention to those uh, affixes. I... Yeah, it's indeed a paradox. Like ring, uh, here ring uh, we have that giving you uh, elemental resistance base, which is kind of good. What do we have here? Increased necrotic damage, increased health regen, increased physical resistance, uh, poison resistance, health, necrotic damage, intelligence. So we can't really do much with this. Well, we can try to disassemble it. Physical penetration, void resistance, health, a 60. Uh, in interesting, but not interesting. Uh, run about button. What else we can get? Uh, this we are removing. A word uh, per second uh, we are removing. This one. Okay, so this one uh, could be a good good base as well. This one is could be a uh, look. Look at the uh, base stat for this: two hundred seventy-five uh, armor, cold resistance, and stun avoidance. All right. The problem is uh, the basic, the three basic stats we have for this. All right. So uh, it have health stat. Wait, the health stat. I don't see okay ten percent increase health, which is we don't really need. Uh, we we want like that physical resistance, we want that physical resistance and word per second, certain per second. Uh, so we need to uh, in order to to do something with this, we need to first remove one of those, and it's also costs you fortune potential. So there's a rune. Uh, Roll the values. There, there's this uh, red rune over here that can remove random uh, affix out of item. We don't have them yet uh, over here on this soft core. But usually you probably would want to roll it first. That's also uh, moving some forging potential. That also can remove some forging potential from that, so we can easily break this item. But this is a good. Uh, forging base. Just increase my survivability. Do we have anything like this over here? Fire resistance, dra uh, dread shade, necrotic resistance, Chris Dodge. We don't, unfortunately. Uh, five potions, minion damage, intelligence ward, elemental resistance. Uh, two intelligence, armor, and endurance. So this one, this one could be could be good again. It's giving me uh, intelligence already, so I need to add void resistance over here. So let, let's let, let's get this one, a blue item. Unfortunately, we we selling we selling this one. Increase minion damage, chance to shock and hit. Don't care about this one. 
Uh, I don't care about this. Intelligence strength. Mm, this is basically the same base we have in right now. Intelligence mana. Necrotic. Wait, uh, this one is could be. Nah, no, nah, no, never mind, never mind. Elemental resistance ring here. Increase poison damage, increase minion damage, cold resistance endurance. Okay, it's not good. Uh, lightning damage, potions. Oh, well, it tells zombie summon uh, on the use. So it's not good, but we're trying to break it. Oh, break it, I mean break it. Let's start getting some affixes. So, uh, what we want, we want to break those items and get some affixes shards. Intelligence, critical strike chance. Uh, shatter this health shard, lightning and damage shard. That's not what we wanted. Uh, shatter this one. Necrotic damage shard, physical resistance shard. Uh, necrotic damage and health regen shard. Necrotic damage is uh, kind of good. What uh, you let's buy more of those runes here. Since we have cash. So, uh, crafting this item. Crafting this item. Uh, spell damage. Uh, so, what do we want? We want void resistance on it. We want void resistance and we want uh, a spell damage uh, or necrotic damage. So, intelligence, uh, we go to this here. Uh, we add in uh, void resistance here. Yeah. Void resistance. Unfortunately, we don't have this thing. This took me five of uh, fortune potential. So my current resistances to avoid is uh, 75. So 56 without this. Uh, yes, yeah, so we do need this 20%. We need it 20%. But the problem is fortune potential here. It's just, okay, critical success. Void resistance to 12. Okay, very good. So let's get me uh, 20 weight resistance as much as we can get and plus additional intelligence. Now we can improve intelligence and we also can improve uh, some other stuff like... Uh, um. Okay, so uh, other start, other start, um, necrotic resistance. Uh, wait. Why, is, why are we showing over here? Okay, dexterity, armor, I don't care about resistances right now. What do you carry? Physical resistance, low layer, marrow shot. Right, I don't, don't have necrotic damage. Say so available be applied, dexterity. But th th this is resistances. Hmm. This is uh, this is this is the stuff that's going over here. Uh, we, we need we need the prefix. Okay. Do, do, is this like? A, is it bugged? Or do we have like a? Do I have like a necrotic damage? Okay, we do have necrotic damage here. It's affix, so we should be able to spell damage. Should be able to add it to to this item here. Huh. maybe we maybe we need to 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 add like some other thing like armor. Dexterity called okay, Deutsch Rating. Let's say we add in Deutsch Rating, uh, Rating, Affix. Uh, so it's just going over here, so making blue. I don't know why, why I can add the uh, Necrotic Assistance. And let's break the item, fuck. Let's break the item, so like we, we lost... I, I should have like a level up intelligence in case, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know why, why it was, wasn't adding necrotic damage to it. Right, it should be going for prefix. Alright, so if you're looking over here, we're able to add... Can it be add uh, elemental resistance? So, like, on this, on this base, uh, they don't have, like, any necrotic damage or spell damage, apparently. Hmm. That's interesting. Can I, uh, is, is this some peculiarity of, of the helmet or together? That you can add the... Okay, I can check out this helmet. Maybe uh, on helmets you can add uh, the spell damage and necrotic damage, so we need to rely on base spell damage. Never all, uh, that's gonna be a decrease in my damage again. Uh, 1618, 1596, but it should be like increase my armor rating in a little bit, and intelligence a little bit. So it's, it's a better base, but not really that great base, especially when it comes to a damage. What brings you here? Well, what we're gonna do? We're gonna break this one. Where do assistant shards? Farewell. Uh, well, that that's that's how we do it. I'll try to do it, and that's why this uh, this crafting system is not really perfect here. Very easy to to break your item, even if you have this uh, the hope sink. Okay, but I, I mean like uh. The, on the only thing that we don't don't have yet is armor on this guy, armor and evasion for increasing my survivability. Our uh, resistance is like up to, uh, already, so that uh, makes sense to try to to try to increase this armor. That makes sense to do it. So we uh, can reason the face tank him, more or less. Where the guild leader was was a snake altogether. So that's why they changed the 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 ways. They were damnable snakes. There we go. Give me some gold. We need any any we can get. The uh, infiltration continues uh, with a great success. The Scalpain are still unaware of the fact that uh, I stole the face of the leader. The only real threat we faced was cast uh, out of the dunes to await questioning. The investigation of the Arug uh, who fled the city remains cold. There are no traces of her beyond the uh, Ulatri cliffs. The chances of her returning are slim, but we'll need to be very regardless. There are many updates with the uh, vessel maiden. If it's true that uh, she's developing into forbidden magics, we may need to cast on the ritual if the goddess allow it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, return to Varric. Uh, search for Aziz for. S okay, return to Varric. Back to Tarwin. Uh. Jake <laughs> Hakes here. Uh, look, the Grim Dawn worsen it. Uh, welcome, welcome. Mm, yeah, mate. Uh, did you play it already? Well, it, it is. Uh, it is. It is. Uh, kind of my opinion for so far. I was enjoying playing the uh, for first two days of last epoch here, but it's it is it is a mediocre game. It is a mediocre game for, uh, so far. That's my uh, opinion uh, going through the through the main story here. 
Very mediocre. Very mediocre. Doesn't have like substance to it. Doesn't have the soul as uh, the soul as Grim Dawn and Titan Quest has. Or like Pass of Exile to to compare to. <laughs> How's my new favorite bounty hunter doing? Do you have good news? Uh, that I do. I never doubted you, but I'm impressed nonetheless. Tracking Arjani down and dispatching them as fast as you did. I couldn't have asked for it to have gone any better. I am to please. <laughs> After you're done with your business in the temple, I sure wouldn't mind having you around once the scale bane are under new management. Plenty of jobs to do around here. And even more once I'm running the show. I'll give it some sorts. Okay, gold, at least we can use this. You're now looking at the new leader of the scale bane, thanks to your help. And plenty of my own effort, of course. Don't forget about my, uh, my side of the deal. Last epic during Grim Dawn plus Diablo plus uh, Pass of Exile. Well, I, I would I would uh, dis discard a Grim Dawn from the equation, actually. Uh, Cargo, no one cares about the campaign in the game. They are uh, pushing end game uh, to farm monoliths. Yeah, so like, uh, that, that's what, uh, hello Cargo, by the way. That, that's what I'm saying. So far, like, campaign here is just uh, the placeholder. And they, they didn't put any soul or any thoughts into it whatsoever. Uh, what they make is, they make it harder for new people to, to get through it. <laughs> That's what they did. Uh, because you can experiment uh, with the skills. Right now we're level 56, we haven't reached level 20 in skills yet. And removing the points is going to take me quite a bit of time to get uh, the points to the skill. Uh, basically, the campaign doesn't have a soul, like in Grim Dawn. So, like... I can't compare this game to Grim Dawn, where a campaign is like what you do in campaign is the main thing you could do in Grim Dawn. It's uh, comparable to Diablo, Pass of Exile, and uh, uh, maybe Wolsen. Maybe Wolsen. Uh, I see a lot of Wolsen in this game so far, in in many things. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how the uh, end game gonna be uh, there. When we're we gonna be there? Like 24 hours in the game so far. I haven't reached the, uh, their end game yet. Mm -hmm. I may be a thief, and a rogue, and a backstabber, and wanted in every city you've ever heard of. I hope you're going to say something uh, reassuring next. Despite all that, I'm true to my word, especially for a friend. I've already got everything laid out and ready to go. So I wonder if there is like anything like uh anything they can do to skip this campaign altogether, you know? <laughs> is it is it possible? Anyone guys know like uh, is it anything like to skip campaign? Just jump right into game end game like because this is a totally bullshittery. They added uh in a, for uh Diablo which is have like a really interesting campaign and stuff, substantial like they are the option to skip campaign altogether if you play in the seasons. If you play through a campaign at, at least once. Can you do it in this game? Because this is like... A very big disappointment. So what the plan? I know exactly how to get us both into the temple. Since I need to head there for my own business as well. Win-win, right? <laughs> All we need to do is go on a little jaunt, then steal a giant eagle and fly to our destination. Oh, easy. fun. Right? All right. Well, first off, you're going to stop by the Oasis. It's a lovely place this time of year. As long as you don't mind hordes of desert beasts who are looking to rip you apart. Once you're done there, you should reach the Crystal Mine. Not many people go in there and come out breathing. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, thanks for the word for, of confidence. After that, you'll be awfully close to the Osprey's war camp. I'll meet up with you just outside of it. Why there? <laughs> Where else would we be getting a giant eagle? We have to fight the entire game of Ospix. <laughs> That's the plan. That's a terrible plan. <laughs> That's a terrible dialogues. <laughs> you know, uh, it's feel like the quality of dialogues a little bit increase, uh, improved, rather say, in this part of like uh, campaign, right? When we get to the city, I wonder if this was they added it at the end, uh, close to the release date. Or is this the release date campaign part, but yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, come on. Where is that fighting spirit? It's going to work. And it's not like you've got any other options. Okay, I guess not supposed to see... Uh, I guess not. I suppose I see uh, you there. 
uh, Calgary, you're not uh, too far from finishing the campaign. Okay, so like I'm, uh, I'm uh, basically right about this. Uh, they added this uh, part of the campaign uh, at at the last um, at the last patch. Is it? Because uh, the campaign wasn't finished before, so it does have a little bit better quality, but it's still awful. Before we go any further, it will be best to introduce yourself to some of the powers within the city. Taking over the Skelbane is only one step. We'll need allies. Tell me about them. First, there's the Merchant Guild. You were in Thetima before, and you likely ran into some of them. Melvin, ring a bell? They've got a foothold in the bazaar, and grow more influential by the day. Then there is the Circle of Fortune. Scholars and mages who have the ear of every noble in the city. Being able to grease the wheels of fortune makes you popular. They hardly leave their observatory, but introductions are easy. Okay, so th this is uh, this is definitely a new part, right? This is like uh, that mechanic they were talking in uh, in the videos about, like merchant guild, when you can trade with uh, the people online and uh, the fortune tellers, and you just increase the chance of your loot. You will find both the bazaar and observatory nearby. Keep in mind, picking one ally is the same as shunning another. While you're allied with one, you won't be accepted into the other until you break those ties. Decisions, decisions, eh? Hey, yes, thank you. So the Circle of Fortune and the Merchant Guild are ready to accept a reward uh, and reward your uh, allegiance in a terra. So the, the Merchant Trade Profit Crown Grow, align yourself with the Merchant Guild, enable the trading items via the Bazaar directly with other players. Uh, Statica Guild, uh, our, our Fate, Circle of Fortune, align yourself with the Circle of Fortune and chance the item drop and allow you to seek prophecies to help you find better and more items. Yeah, we, we're gonna be going this one. Uh, so what do we have here? Enemy item drop chance, uh, have certified chance of dropping twice as many items. A brilliant rune uh, of uh, ascendance. Uh, we don't care about dropping uh, amount of dropping, we ca uh, care about for for them to have like a uh, dropping nice basis for my class. A great runes of ascendance. Uh, chance to uh, a rune of ascendance to be preserved when used for, uh, uh, on an item and require at least a circle of one fortune rank. Uh, rune of Sandens, we don't know what it is. Idle drop chance. Whenever an idol drops, there's 25 chance for two more drops at the same time. Uh, exalted affix chance. Affix is f uh, more likely to be exalted. Uh, monolith uh, echoes reward upgrades. Chance to double the reward from monolith echoes. We don't know about this monolith. Legendary potential chance. Unique are, are twice as likely to have legendary potentials. Tier 7 affix chance. Tier 7 affix are twice as common. Okay, so like uh, you can go like uh, f crafting uh, higher than tier 5. And there is tier 7 over here. A rare to exalted chance. Items uh, that would drop a rare have 25 chance to be uh, become exalted. Full set drop chance. Whenever a step item would drop, uh, their whole set uh, drop instead. Prophecies reward upgrade. Items from prophecies are duplicated. Uh, prophecies. So we don't care, uh, visit the observatory to research a prophecy. Uh, okay, so... I suggest going to first, then the you will find both the bazaar and observatory. Tell me about the bazaar. Keep in mind. Sell items and buy basic items. You can sell an items and uh, you can uh, buy normal magic or rare items on a bazaar directly from other players. So uh, you know what? Uh, I don't know about sets items yet here in this game. Like I say, uh, for now we only like utilize the crafting system, and I think like uh, fighting, uh, finding a better base uh, for your crafting for your classes will be uh, better. We are. We are we are, we are uh, trading with other players. Mm -hmm. You can buy sell items in the bazaar directly from other players. Uh, specific uh, unique items. You can buy unique items with no legendary potential in the bazaar directly from other players. Uh, buy idols. You can buy idols. Uh, buy exalted uh, weapons. You can buy exalted weapons. 
uh, buy unique weapons, you can buy unique weapons, buy all exalted items, you can buy all exalted items, uh, all uh, unique items, you can buy unique items, including the loose with legendary potential, buy legendary weapons, you can buy legendary weapons, buy all uh, legendary weapons. So yeah, uh, the previous faction is better, Gargo's saying. Uh, maybe, maybe. Like, uh, because I don't I don't know how, how the end game working yet, right? So for now, I see that uh, I have a better chance to get in myself uh, a useful base for my class from this, uh, from this, like, trading. But yeah, definitely for solo, uh, for solo, it's looking, it's looking better. I suggest go first. Then the there, the fortune of, uh, and I mean, I was, I, I went, uh, I meant to, to go for this. One ally is the same as shunning another. Uh, for the circle of fortune. With one, you won't be accepted into the other until you break the Decisions, decisions, eh? So do we have like another kind of sync over here to do? Become a member is a circle. Okay, uh, all right, let's see. Observatory. Ah, oh, hello. What brings you to the observatory? Care to change your fortune with a prophecy from the stars? Don't tell me. I can see it now. Zeric asked you to meet with the Circle of Fortune, didn't he? He did. How did you know? I would love to say that it was foretold in the stars. But the truth is that I saw you speaking with him from one of the balconies. My name is Galila, and it's my honor to offer any and all who have an interest in celestial divination to join us. The Circle of Fortune. What can the Circle of Fortune do? Very, uh, open-ended question. I will have to restrain myself from telling you about the various fields of research we've pioneered and keep to the more practical applications. If you assist in our research, your reputation among us will grow. Then we will be able to afford you greater access to our discoveries. With our knowledge of the stars, one might gain prophecies and use their guidance to discover treasure where others would find naught. What do you say? Do you wish to have fate on your side? Join the circle of fortune. So you'll uh, join the circle. Yes. Favor and reputation. Well, aligned with the circle of fortune, you gain a favor when a slain enemies of completing a quest. A favor can be spent uh, in the observatory to gain a reputation. Which uh, experience uh, is your experience with the faction? A small amount of reputation is also gained when a slain enemies or uh, completing a quest. Rank and rewards. Uh, your reputation grow. Okay, give me a second phone call. Okay, no problem here. Some stuff from a bank, a spam. Uh, so uh, the rank and rewards. Uh, as your reputation grows, you uh, gain rank with the circle of fortune, unlocking powerful benefits towards uh, finding more and better items. That was saying. Uh, spend a favor in the observation uh, and increase your reputation and rank and unlocking rewards. And the small amount of reputation is gained while slaying enemies and playing quests. Right. So, Shira, Shira like. Gain a reputation to rank up. You gain a favor when you slay an enemy competing quest. 100 fa a favor. Sure, like, I mean, I understand. So, like, what, what am I supposed to do? Welcome. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Yeah, so the single function of Um. Uh, so, do we have a special top for this? Circle of Fortune loot filter. Um, settings, main menu, factions, faction, okay, rank up, uh, rank and rewards, prophecies, but, I, mean, I need to gain, uh, 992, uh, reputation more, 
against her when you slain enemies. Okay. Uh, again, what to do? With, what to do with favor? So, like, uh, item fixation, circular fortune. Okay, so uh, that's explanation. Circular fortune is an item faction uh, that grants powerful benefit towards finding more and better items. You will be able to light with the circular fortune from the first time during the chapter nine. Unlike the merchant guilds, item found with uh, aligned with the circular fortune will always be uh, untradeable. Uh, they can still uh, be gifted and found from the forces uh, uh, or through the rank rewards will also be the bound of circular fortune, making it impossible to equip them if uh, aligned with the merchant of guild. Uh, when it's aligned with the Circle of Fortune to, uh, for the first time, you'll uh, start at rank 1. As you gain reputation from uh, gaining experience uh, or spending favors with the faction, by as a, uh, as a purchasing prophecies or observator at the observatory, or spending uh, the faction a gambler, you gain a higher la rank, okay, yield gathering benefits from the faction. For more details on the benefits from the uh, ranks gained while aligned with the Circle of Fortune, you can open the faction open panel. Uh, Bent to Y. The observatory is uh, a town uh, area when a player is aligned with uh, circular fortunes are able to seek out the prophecies from uh, telescopes of uh, favors. Prophecies cost certain items to drop uh, when completing uh, the specific event, like slaying the boss of a specific dungeon. The observatory also contains the faction and gamblers that can be used to spend favors by purchasing equipable items and linces. Linces are uh, items that can be used to customize the uh, Prophecies uh, to the father target, the items and rewards and uh, types of events. Prophecies are required to complete. Higher rank while uh, within the faction allows a deeper customization of a telescope with a lens. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome. So, uh, like let's me? see what, what they're selling us. Favor cost, favor cost, the items. So, they, they're selling some base items over here offhand. The real it's rarity in uh, magical properties can it be a unique or set. Mm, okay, so can it be unique or set? They're saying. Celestial glows armor increased mana regen, uh, which is not better than my current glows in terms of the base. Melee spell damage increased damage over time. Uh, Actually, okay, so the Celestial Scepter, on the other hand, the better base uh, as an item for me. Spell damage mana, spell mana cost. Yes, yeah, so this, this is actually better. Damage uh, over time. That's what we want. Block chance, we don't care about this one. So we can spend my favorites here. This is too too much. What else we have? Welcome. You seek to learn of the art of prophecy, I presume. What can you tell me about the prophecies? Prophecies are the medium through which we are able to observe, record, and even manipulate the delicate medium between the stars and our fates. Go to any of the telescopes within this tower and use them to observe a constellation. Once you have found a star whose light you want to capture, record it as a prophecy. Once you've made your first strides in the art of divination, you may use lenses for more precise telescope control. In time, you will be granted access to a greater variety of them, and may even use multiple at once. Initiates are not allowed this privilege. Our equipment is far too delicate. I may forgive a shattered lens or two, but Galila would be tempted to toss you off the edge of the observatory herself. Speak with Galila if you wish to purchase lenses and other items that may aid you in your research. You are helping the Circle of Fortune a great deal, Traveler. Leave. So, uh, again, Professor from Observatory Telescope. Uh, that's the telescope. Idle prophecies. Armor prophecies. Uh, I mean... Weapon prophecies, and uh, what else we have here? Accessory prophecies. Is the fabric can area roll of the telescopes, uh, so we get a better reward in, in a monolith. You 
Yes. Sandraka Evander isn't here. To hold so much knowledge and be humble as he is uh, innovation, uh, in his innovations. The world pro proves a challenge and his roles to the occasion. Have you met uh, anyone like him? I mean all of the people I met. Not to brag, but I'm incredible myself. Amazing, what do you do? I smash, I burn and fight things. That's impressive, apologies, but I don't know what to say. Their life is so different from my own. What about you? I'm trying to make names for myself in history been here, but I think that uh, selfishness makes me only and as a scholar. What I'm contr uh, contributing to? Is this my pride? Is my knowledge enough? Do I need uh, something more? I might be able to understand the stars, but I don't get them. Not like a soundtrack. Self-awareness is good. So, like, uh, we can buy the lenses from, from, from this girl, let's say. Welcome. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Um, where, but where, where is that lens? Okay, uh, great lens. Region lenses over here. Uh, so I don't even have, like, any favors to, to get any lenses right now. Increase chance per rank to find a helmet. Increase chance per rank to find a belt. Uh, great lens. Increase chance per rank to uh, find a set item. Uh, rank to find exalted item. I, re I reduce the chances for prophecies to have arena events. Reduce the chance for prophecies to have monolith events. So we don't know about the events yet and how impactful they are. I would say like I would, would uh, some uh, idol because we like enough idols. So we we have hundred favor. I will show you what I can disable confirmation windows, rank a reputation. So we can't even set anything here. Events, Dice's Prophecy, fulfilled three times, Death of Exalted Mage, uh, Condition Noun, uh, Affix Shard Reward. Uh, Dice's Prophecy, Death of uh, Ember Element, uh, Light and Armor Dungeon, Unique Idol, Glyph of Despair, Monolith, Death of uh, Immortal Eye, Arena Key, plus four. Monolith, Death of the Boss. Death of the Siege Golem. Glyph Char. Uh, okay. So that's interesting. Any dungeon, Rune of a Refinement. Lenses at around 2. So we can't do anything with this. We don't have like enough. Enough of a favor to do anything. Yeah, uh, finish the campaign, farm the Monolith, and uh, you will get uh, a lot of favor points. Do we have anything over here? The uh, Crusader Gauntlets. Unique Boots. Armor. Rare Shrine Boots. Exalted Helmet. Unique Scepter. Exalted Handed Axe. Uh, exalted Caster Weapon. One Handed Axe. Unique Two Handed Spear. Unique Quira. Okay, so a uh, set of jewelries, exalted ring, set of jewelries, a unique jewelry, and finally we have, okay, we, we saw everything over here, didn't we? Okay, that's uh, about all of this. And we are about to finish this campaign, and actually see what this game was after campaign. So far, this campaign was very, very, very disappointing. Absolutely like 24 hours of waste of time. <laughs> okay, so is there also a sign of a merchant? We have a mage over there. Your death has come. 
I'm here. It's another guy who uh, who proficient in running. Yeah, trying to run away. But we're getting him to slow it down quite a bit. Perish. Uh, word decay threshold, uh, word decay threshold, and the word again in potion. That's 51. Uh, we don't care about this. So, what is this guy's. Uh, what, what, what are those things called? What kind of uh, items they are? They're not exalted items, are they? What a rank of this item. A funny looking snake over here. Gullimander. The Gullimander is like a gullible salamander, if I understand correctly. They have this in, uh, in this game, apparently. Back. Oh, look another that that merchant. Uh idle physical assistant. Rune of Ascendance. The hell is that? Okay, okay, okay. Something interesting. Change the item to uh, change the item to unique uh, or a set item of the same item type. Using this uh, on a silver ring, I could turn into the unique ring, including one that are not silver rings. However, it's cannot turn into the helmet. None of the other properties of the uh, properties of the base items are retained. Okay, I guess looks like something interesting. So increased health regeneration, physical resistance. We do have like one slot for this. Uh, physical resistance 74 with the maximum. So we're looking good here. Enter the Spine Hunter Dan. Okay, finally level up here today, like first level in hour. First level in hour, uh, let's see. So for this level, for this level, uh, we're getting this spell damage because uh, 1,598. This is getting me to 1,500, uh, 1,644. Okay. So we're getting some damage. Play this, uh, Spine Hunter. Come out whenever you are, Spine Hunter, dude. Guess we need to kill his pups first. Where are you covered? Okay, man. It was uh, not 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 uh, different from a normal elite.
Do we have like some bug? Look at this. It's a visual bug that uh, like is is uh, you saw it. Yeah. Okay. So it's, uh, the harvest was activating, uh, but it's not actually was activating. Now the side quest over here. Good day, traveler. Ah, it's you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You know me. Of course I do. You help Varric take over the scale bane. He's quite uh, forthcoming with uh, stories about you. I hope you're as good as his claims. Trust me, I am. Because I have a job for you. The, uh, the pay is good and it shouldn't be difficult for uh, someone like you. Let's hear it. Now that the scalebane are back and under the uh, management, I'd like to restart our operation in the crystal mine. Sounds like a good idea. Well, I moved forward uh, with the plan a few days ago, but I'm yet to hear uh, back from some workers. Would you go and uh, find out what happened? Do you think anything happened? In the state we are in, I'm sure. I'll make sure to check it out. Where it is. It's a little bit higher. Farewell. Hmm? A couple of Skelbin members swagged by and let me know uh, the places under the, the new management. I presume you're looking for uh, to head in right now? If so, be careful. The place is still pretty dangerous and we're not sure what's in there. I'll be on my guard then. Farewell. Uh, those spiders, uh, judging by their look of them, they do like avoid damage, is it? Which is fine, we have 80, uh, 75 resistance. Great chance for critical strike for me. Guys are uh, just the pushovers. Do I have any chance against my powerful courses? Yeah, like unlike unlike the guys with the poison who actually were breaking through my shield, uh, those guys are. No idea what they're doing. Can't even get through my shield. Let me mess again the mine shop. That's what we're doing. It eludes me. Okay, Crystal Lotus guy. Will not take me. That's all? Easy. 
Uh, so we return to uh, okay, return return back to the girl. Okay, this is the players going anywhere? Okay, we got uh, the burn curse level up. I got level up everything else here. Yeah, okay, those guys were dealing some damage. Goes to my energy shield at least. Impossible. Look. The loot, the loot picking uh, radius definitely need to be increased. I literally need to work uh, on everything in order to like loot it. Especially when it's count the po potion looting. Alright, so this uh, this build have uh, a good like uh, relying more on uh, on my actually regen and uh, energy shield, which is called the ward here in this game. So we don't really care about the potions over here. However, If there's if, if you're built like relying on the potion, there is like some potion mechanic as well. We saw like using the potion, giving you some ward or something. Uh, I I don't know. It's, it's just feeling feeling so bad. You need to literally work onto that potion to pick it up. Should have been at, at least around 10 meters around you, up to radius for pick uh, pick it up. Good day, traveler. Yes, unfortunately, they did not survive. Oh, oh my goodness, I, well. Give that uh, you stance here, I presume you took care of the beast. Yes, I did. Thank you, I'll talk to Eric, and we've got to make sure uh, the mines remain safe. Lots of things are going uh, to change now that it's Galbane, I back in how this should be. But enough of my bubbling, here you pay. Take care. Farewell. Good day, traveler. Nice to hear that, yeah, unfortunately, okay. Uh, should we probably go and 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 uh, talk with other merchant guy? To complete another quest. Maybe he has another more quest for me. Hmm. I see. Uh, she's not with you. Did uh, you find her? Yes. I'm sorry. Tell me how she died. I hope uh, her death wasn't quick. Was quicker, as I say. I think the spine hunters got a, uh, a hold of her. That's horrible. At least, at least it was fast. The spine hunters are a little. I think, I think I should leave the town for a while. Sit up somewhere safe, far away from all of this. I wish you luck. Here, payment for uh, once again for your work. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry I didn't have a better outcome. And also, uh, in consequential amount of XP. Can I help you? Uh, let's see about the, the traits here. So we have uh, experiment on Chen Bell. We don't care about this one. Uh, increase mana. We don't care about this one. Attributes poison resistance. Uh, damage over time. Damage over time could be actually okay, but whatever. Physical damage, elemental damage. We don't care about this. And necrotic damage. Okay, necrotic damage. We uh, we keep in this one. Necrotic damage and crit critical strike. Uh, this we don't care. Uh, this is a good base. So this is a good base, but uh, not a good uh, stats on it. So we are uh, in need of uh, some intelligence, right? We want some intelligence on this. At least the way to put it there. Uh, mm-hmm. There's intelligence boots plus six. Uh, health armor. Necrotic resistance, elemental resistance. Movement speed. Increased fire damage. Uh, cold and spell cold damage. I don't care about this one. Critical strike, increased healing effectiveness. Uh, we also have a couple of items over here. 
prison penetration, necrotic penetration. So in necrotic penetration, uh, interesting to take. There was void resistance. So let's see about breaking loose sink. Uh, get necrotic penetration shard. Nice, nice, oh nice, God. nice. And uh, spell critical chance over here. And uh, now like we, we're talking about this one. So what we want to armor and reduction bonus damage increase. Uh, lighting resistance. So we want to re remove this one. Can we remove this? So we want to remove this one. Uh, it could be potentially cost me a lot of fortune potential. Removing this. So we want to add like... Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I was possible. We, we want to add uh, physical resistance to it. How we can do without 29 physical resistance? It's 55 without it, so we do need physical resistance over there. We're getting me a uh, 5% of armor. Which is kinda good. Uh, but first we need to do something with, uh, with this. So we, we want to gamble for uh, removing this one armor uh or like even light and resistance like uh, how much light and resistance we have we don't really need uh that much of a maximum right so we, we can remove any of those here and we're probably okay it probably will be okay and then we want uh, that 11 intelligence as well let's so remove affix well it's remove uh, a good one but it's cost me uh oh crafting uh, okay it took me for uh, 14 uh, 15 uh, fortune potential right away so if you add in uh, physical resistance over here um, physical resistance okay 19 physical resistance that uh, has got right away uh, to a good point. Uh, right, very, very good, very good. Critical success. And then we want to add in, uh, intelligence over here. Intelligence over here. But that's... Uh, we butchered it. We only add uh, two intelligence and it cost me so much. Uh, it's cost me so much of the crafting potential here. Right, critical success for if, uh, and critical failure, you can say. Yeah, yeah. And now for a fortune, a fortune potential a item breaked, so I can't do anything with this. God damn it! Right, like losing losing so much intelligence, like uh, like we are gonna influence a lot of damage here. 16, uh, 34. Alright, it's going to uh, 14, like 200 DPS. I don't think we're ever gonna do that. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, crafting uh, in this game so far have a good potential, but it's like very easy to break the item uh, in early stages, at least, like in early stages of the game. And early stages of the game so far, that's where you actually need to utilize the crafting to the maximum potential. Uh, to be, to stay in... Uh, ahead of the curve, or uh, alongside the curve. In terms of resistances, in terms of the damage. So like another thing um, I wonder about uh, can we uh, can we set the filters for some specific items right for some specific item base that's what I need to do I want a specific item base like uh, for that I don't I don't want to see any other like for example uh, breastplate except that, uh, the breastplate we just saw before. You can do it in the past for, uh, of exile for sure. But 
Can you do it with this game? Didn't saw uh, there the option uh, back when the first time checked it. But we can double check after we clean this area. So let's see if we can do something about this uh, kind of forging potential. Uh, filters, filters. Alright, I have uh, the portal here. Give me a second. So, uh, shift F filters, are the rule, uh, are the rule, so we want to, uh, condition, right? You should use the, uh, max roll guide, uh, warlock builds, uh, you can import, uh, the loot filter, uh, to the game. Well, we want the item type. Um, so the people, the 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 warlock just just came out, and the people already have guides for it. Yeah, you know, like I'm not playing with any guides. Uh, the cargo. I'm uh, enjoying like discovering the things for myself most of the time. Uh, but yeah, I see. Like there is no uh, no way for me to specifically target specific uh, item like as a base so that's that that's what i was aware about right uh, if you want to to, sh to see the item for, for example armor it's like yeah show the body armor but what kind of body armor there's so many types of body armor and uh, we don't we don't want the armor yeah we, don't, we want specific uh, base so there is no way to uh, set the filter for that Unless there's any other conditions we can. So the item types, uh, class requirements. Uh, class requirements we just said in uh, the Acolyte. We all, all we're showing this one already. Uh, affixes. So like, we kind of try, uh, kind of could uh, specifically look for uh, specific affixes over here on an item. But it will not like uh, go as... Uh, so attributes, all attributes of the polymorphs uh, attuned, dexterous, scholar, intelligence, mighty, vitality, or vast. So they have all the affixes here. So th this is could uh, simplify uh, the find, uh, but most of the time, like we, we carry only about a base, and you can craft all the affixes with it if you have enough uh, material and lucky enough for uh, with my fortune potential. Uh, yeah, so having like one affix here is okay, all right, like uh, having it uh, item for example with two affixes like we need uh, intelligence and uh, like necrotic damage or spell damage uh, could uh, could could make could make this uh, a little better uh, the drop filters, but it's not gonna be a uh, dropping specific item base that I I want and how we can set it, uh, for example, in passive exile. Um, let's see what kind of like acolyte here. That's idols class specific, uh, acolyte specific. Uh, his rate multiplier damage with transform, ward and kill. Harvest damage least, okay, increase spell damage per skeletal mage. Uh, so that's the, the, the specific affixes over here for Acolyte. Also will help a little bit, probably. Summon skeleton, a sacrifice aura. Maybe not really. Level of harvest, reperform. So if I didn't found like any, uh, any good um, affixes to add. Experimental, personnel, Cursed, uh, Orions, Solar Deserter. Uh, let's see about else like level, below level. Okay, so th there's a uh, there's a level set. Uh, we, we don't care about level for now. We care about base.
Yeah, so like the filter does have given you uh, de de definitely a better option than uh, Grimdorn filters here. But it's still uh, as not satisfying as uh, while well, pass passive exile filters. It can like target, specifically target uh, item like uh, this. Uh, I want a runestone as a base, which is giving me intelligence and a word per second guarantee. That's actually better offhand uh, than this. But uh, for example, I want a runestone specific to target. I can't. I can target it. I can target all the off hands uh, that maybe can have like some, well, uh, in in, uh, necrotic damage to them uh, or something. But like, I don't really need that necrotic damage here because I can add it uh, with the crafting. Lucky enough or not? <laughs> there you are. I was wondering if you were going to show up. The pass uh, you gave me wasn't exactly easy. Oh, please. It was to get you prepped for this. Welcome to the war camp. We're looking for the Great Eagle, right? Not just any Great Eagle. We're looking for one named Talon. Why the name? Well, I'm the only one who calls her that. She's a big scary bird, so I figured big scary name, right? <laughs> She's also rather unruly. Cute. She dumped me off the first three times I tried flying her back when I was selling weapons to the Ospreys. We want her specifically because she and I are familiar, and she'd likely still let me fly her. If we tried to hop on any other Great Eagle, they'd probably rip us to shreds. And I don't know about you, but I like being unshredded. Shredded, okay. Uh, why are we selling weapons to the Ospreys through? Don't look at me like that. This was years ago, when they were far less genocidal. I needed money at the time. How else was I going to stage a coup against the Scalebane? I still didn't like it, but I understand. Trust me, had I known they were going to go insane and start a war against everyone, I would have found my money elsewhere. Let's go thin their numbers a bit, shall we? Let's go. Well, we also have uh, something here to level up. So, uh, Marrow Seif, uh, the final defenses, yeah, we can keep this one for now, and we can get this heal amount per Marrow Seif, uh, let's increase the chance for Marrow Seif to begin with. Start, uh, yeah, good start. Then, 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 what do we have here? What do we have here? Damage eradication, right? Damage to uh, uh, rares and bosses are eight uh, per point, and double if uh, enemy or you are cursed. So uh, that's like uh, making sixteen per point, which is good for me. Uh, now here we have uh, we're still like working with the market enemy, dealing more damage. Uh, let's say I'm okay with that. Not really okay. Yeah, uh, and lastly, 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 the Spirit Blank, level 17, so three more levels till uh, we max it out. Uh, we absolutely want this, uh, the Pestilence, uh, global damage uh, over time by 15% and stuck in 30 times, so this, this is a huge uh, source of my damage to my curses, especially when there's a lot of enemies in lie around. Uh, it's not working that, that good in the bosses, but... Also, uh, why are we not having uh, more points to this? Okay, it's still a little bit more to level up until we get uh, get this damage into a necrotic. Happening. I was like, why I'm not casting the curse? That was interesting. That was interesting. Now. 
Okay, get me that ward. Look at the 25 gold, they just uh, came really close near it. And I still didn't, didn't pick that up. What do I have here? Experience shrine, okay. That's, that's a good one. One of the best shrines uh, we can get for. Did he just like kill this guy instantaneously? <laughs> Wait, is this supposed to be a boss? What a workout! That was fun, eh? <laughs> you can see they're fighting off uh, an army fan. <laughs> like you don't. Okay, here's Talon. You're alright. You're looking a bit pale. Well, uh, it's been a few years. If she doesn't remember me, well, we're not in for a good time. I'm sure she will be. On top of that, I never liked heights. Oh. Hey. Plummeting thousands of feet may be a good time for you, but I prefer to have my own two feet on the ground. Let's hop on. Try not to fall off. All we got to do is steer Talon towards the temple, and she should take care of the rest for us. All right, let's go. Wait, so they're not gonna show me like uh, I'm riding the bird? Will I? Okay, I'm, okay never mind, we're riding the bird, we're good. Fly to the temple. It looks like the Ospricks weren't afraid of us borrowing their fur. Get ready for a fight. We're hit. Grab onto something. We're hit already? <laughs> That, that was very short fly. Well, that, that's what you got uh, if you don't have like any professional pilots. Okay, so like, I wonder about this one. Why is it so short here? Uh, why is it feel like radiuses? Chris Area. Okay, when, when, when Chris Area of the plank here. Next time we're gonna do anything. It's also mana efficiency. Well, that wasn't too bad. He holds his side and wins the pain. Can we uh, go again? Be my guest. I'm good right where I am. Thank poor, you. poor Talon. Unfortunately, this is where we part. He glanced over the please. remains of the great eagle and hides his eyes. Wait, so we were going together. You have yourself a giant snake to catch, and I have a coup to continue. I'll be headed for the temple's gates and letting in a few hundred of my closest friends. Splitting up is the best way of going about it. I wouldn't be a ton of use to you, and I can move way faster when I'm not worried about you. Fair enough. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you after your chat with Majassa. You'll be one step closer to your goals, and I'll be about 20 steps closer to my own. Watch yourself out there. I will. Thank you. Well, they just killed the, the, the bird, like, <laughs> like it's nothing. Oh my god. Do we have any, any, anyone from Animal Watch here? This is animal abuse. Plain and simple. Oh wait, uh, loot, loot. About to hit level 58 over there, so like the game has 100 levels, if I understand correctly. We're sure taking our sweet time leveling up here in the campaign.
Well, at least like uh, for next playthrough we'll be more wiser and trying to rush through it like as fast as possible. Right, so all the annoying parties are, are left in this playthrough, hopefully. So next we're gonna be playing uh, most likely Falconeer. Most likely, I know everyone playing it. Uh, gonna be trying to do some uh, hardcore, trying to compare this Falconeer to the Warlock. Warlock, uh, so far, the cursed version of Warlock at least, uh, feeling like super, uh, super powerful. Mm -hmm. That's one, one thing I can say. Good survivability, good damage. Basically, 99% of the time, nothing I can, uh, can get to my uh, energy shield. I'm not even like damaging, uh, getting to my head. Uh, there is some idol here. So what do you have? Twenty percent chance to poison hit and increase spell damage while uh, at low health. Well, uh, we almost never been in low health, so if you know low health. I wonder what's low health considering this game. I think shards. That's another good shrine. So I guess we get some more damage from poison because armor and other seem to not really protecting you from a poison. There, I saw there are some affixes that can uh, make your armor protect you also from uh, dirt affects a little bit. Not like 100%, like 10% at least that uh, so the affix doing so. Okay, uh, does bring the more, more spell damage here. 1691. And finally we're gonna be make uh, this one necrotic damage here. Uh, physical damage to necrotic, so we have... 20, uh, 90 damage here, but when it's became necrotic, it's become 2900. Actually, not, not a big difference, except if we have a uh, 900 plus. Fighting me. And necrotic damage is my main, because we also can shred some necrotic resistances. Yeah, now my traversal skill is actually a big, da uh, big damage skill. You won't see me coming. Shadows. This uh, reflective shrine, mm, maybe not the best shrine. I like there's uh, some notion at least of uh, creating reflective damage builds in this game. Do you know how uh, effective they would be? But it's uh, something I definitely want to try in the future. Reflective damage. Now, how much fun I have is that in uh, playing Dino Quest? Uh, mm hmm. No idea if you're even going in the right direction here. It's a dead end. Oh, 
There's definitely too many snakes like hiding, uh, hiding like in the place site or like in uh, beneath the concrete. Right, th th this is like not, uh, th this is even marble or something, a stone floor, and they hiding beneath it. Those guys are hardcore. There's some elite. There was some elite correction. There's another one, Storm uh, Virazel. That's all. Well, the the bosses here are definitely chunky. So one one say like we fought with that uh, that god, right? Uh, the Tulhu guy, the god of the oceans, and he was so chunky. Killing diamond matron. That water assistant shard. Okay, that's good. So the item, the upper temple. We can go and play with. Uh, Okay, yeah, we need to, to go to lower temple, the uh, We can go and play with, with some merchant loots. Let's see if we can improve my items. Can I help you? Stay safe, traveler. Uh, let's see, let's see. Can we do something? Um, increase cast speed. I don't care about increased scroll damage. I uh, don't care about this one. Spell damage, chance to poison and spell. Uh, hit, uh, increase skull damage. Okay, we can't do anything with this one. Um, nope. Okay, so this this is a base we want to, to have instead of my current base. Uh, right, so what do we have here? Increase cast speed, increase minion health, critical strike, okay, increase necrotic damage and elemental resistance. I think we just we just replace on this one. It's better word per second, better word retention. The retention is like a uh, low roll, could be up to 86, but uh, it's generally gonna get me a better word. So this is uh, the better of off hand item here for me, for sure. So that, that, this is a base like we, uh, we we want for to have on my character. Uh, poison damage, uh, healing ethics, uh, intelligence award. It's a lower base. Intelligence endurance goes blaine. Bait, uh, elemental resistance. So, this is also the base we want to have. Uh, serving damage, armor, critical strike, Chris Melee. Uh, okay, award. Gain a potion and uh, minion health, critical strike. So we should uh, get in the void resistance out of here. Uh, so let's see about this one. Let's see about this one. Unfortunately, we can get like more. Uh... Yeah, so what do we want here? Like elemental resistance. Do we actually want elemental resistance badly? Uh, we uh, quite a bit of a maximum here. So. We... We don't really care about this one. I don't care about uh, minion health over here. So we want to have like something better out of this, uh, for sure. Uh, let's try. Let's try to remove one of those. I even like okay to removing custom speed over here. Okay, so let's remove that. That's one for six. 
Let's remove custom speed. Well, okay, okay, okay. Remove higher sp custom speed. Uh, but let's see if we can get like a well, damage over time is okay for me. Damage over time because that's what we're doing with the curses. Uh, there is necrotic damage too, and spell damage all together. Uh, we don't have much of spell damage cross uh, char uh, stuff, so we want to get uh, that necrotic damage here. Okay, twelve necrotic damage. Let's go more. So we have inc necrotic damage. Minus 5 potential. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's minion health, like, it's just a sore, a sore thing here. So we just can uh, try to increase the necrotic damage as much as possible. Yeah. If you only can add, like, uh, more of uh, intelligence to here, it will be perfect. Necrotic dam damage and intelligence instead of minion damage would be perfect for this item. Okay, for necrotic damage that was low roll, 11 potential, uh, 16 necrotic damage. Okay, uh, that's better. And tier 5 is the maximum we can get here. So now the 16. So we get uh, 63 necrotic damage out of this. Uh, this is definitely gonna be bringing me a more. Uh, Making my build uh, way better here. We also want to break this one for more shards. Minion health regen, a health shard, void resistance. Okay, void resistance, at least void resistance we can uh, work with. Uh, so let's see. Our damage is like a 1691 and 1274, uh, uh, 1841, so 100, 200 dam uh, DPS here. 200 DPS for this, and uh, uh, well, a little bit less for this one. Well, okay, 115, not, not 200. 150 for this one. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely good. Definitely good, however. Let's uh, shatter this one as well. Necrotic damage shard, elemental resistance shard, okay. So the items. Uh, yes. Let's get uh, let's get more more of the shadow shards here. So we have uh, we have gold. Stay safe, brother. Okay, that was more or less satisfying crafting. Now if I can get a better uh, armor over here. Was he selling armor actually? I didn't, didn't check it out. Can I help you, traveler? Uh, he wasn't selling armor. Now we have got a, a better base for my armor as well, uh, which is all this ar uh, armor value. Uh, that was that was be really good. Would be absolutely good. So uh, temple roofs, upper temper, temple. That's where uh, where we've been last time. This is a lead. Yeah, don't 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 stay on that beam. It's actually uh, damaging quite a bit. He's got through my shield and health right away. Going back, we need to go this way potentially. And summon another elite. Bring it on. A 
Well, those guys like sound tough, you know. They shit talking too much. A robotic scum. Look at this silver uh, elementals. These are robots. So those despicable snakes using the robotic scum as the servants. There's even a big one here. They're definitely not the good guys, huh? They're definitely not the good guys. Well, I think uh, this is a runaway to go. Uh, let's go. Let's go back a little bit. Died. So we're gonna try it this way. Okay, glyph of chaos. Uh, there's a glyph of hope, but. What is Klaus Glyph doing? Like, slow down, like, from poison. Defeat a diamond man from guarding this shit? Okay. But she just got back. Never mind, never mind. Don't even need to go that close and personal anymore. Well, I never need to, but... All the girls. So I have uh, Apothe's minions. And she's like, that's not, not gonna take me, yeah. Sub Nerds Gamers, hello Constantino, welcome, welcome, mate. Uh, greetings, greetings. Uh, how, how has it been for you, mate? How, how is holding up? How are life treating you? Uh, especially after the surgery. Okay, I lose my mana here a little bit. That was a mistake. Uh, Sentino. In this time, this is an interesting event. Okay, so they summon a void sink in this time and era. So are those, uh, are those snakes are uh, connected to the void? What's going on? Yeah, all good. Uh, things gonna uh, kind of curse that daddy started to get used to. Uh, you like this game? For me, it's like so mid. Uh, I don't get it hype. Yeah, it is. It is uh, very mediocre. At least for uh, for the campaign, for the duration of campaign we're playing, it's very mediocre. There's the up here as well. Where uh, Green's Green's made. Uh, I was like uh, very enjoying it the first uh, couple of days when they uh, come in uh, in clash with all the systems and then uh, today we just uh, we 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 checking out the crafting systems in detail how easy to break an item so it's uh, it's a, as easy to br uh, to break item here as uh, it was in Diablo crafting like you know uh, in campaigns like ten hours I already twenty four hours here mate. <laughs> well, I, I I tried like to uh, call to check all these dialogues, which just was big big mistake. You know me. 
Diablo actually have an enjoyable campaign, but we spent like also like 40 hours in Diablo campaign, mind you. Well, uh, people saying the end game here is what's what's uh, what's the good about this game. So we about to approach the end game very soon here and see what it's actually about. We're lucky playing this bug with uh, character Lux. Uh, tell me more. Tell me more about this. Uh, Tell me more about what this box. What do you think you're doing, my beautiful vessel maiden? I am breaking the cycle. I refuse to be your sacrifice. Disgraceful. Rage is unbecoming of you, child. Now I just need this to properly For millennia, enjoy the have died. or see the everything that they, they created now and feel the unending abyss of their despair. What? what are you doing? I mean why don't you show our guest the torment that now fills you? <laughs> What's happening? Get out of my mind. So there are some void shit here, uh, Basically, the game was in development from uh, 2019, uh, right? Developers put all the heart and soul into this campaign, right? It will be disrespectful of me, like, not to fully uh, understand the uh, thinking process and enjoy all this uh, hard labor they, they put into this campaign, right? <laughs> Actually, they disrespecting players with this campaign, honestly. That is my honest opinion. They just, just have bullshit like this. I was saying if you get it started and uh, Lux is the Warlock has some kind of problem with video optimization. Okay, so I didn't got any uh, any starter Lux, but uh, there was a point with the, uh, with, uh, with the boss fight. Uh, they saying they have 90 people in the team right now. So uh, there was a boss fight, and I did notice like uh, how delayed my teleport was. Uh, you know, like I was uh, came to conclusion that not interrupting the uh, animation of my attack to teleport. Uh, but that that there was like some uh, some part that I actually saw. Uh, it's lagging. Also, we having this lag uh, recently, or bug or whatever. When it's showing that uh, animation of this uh, harvest, when I'm not like pressing anything, it's not really like doing a damage or anything, it's just showing animation over here. So it's stuck in the animation, I need to use the harvest one, one more time to remove it. Well, uh, in terms of, in terms of like a builds variety and stuff, like and a gameplay, so the game loop are feeling worse than Diablo, but uh, the, the the build variety so far feeling better. Uh, admittedly, I haven't been trying it, but I feel like uh, there was more potential there that we had in Diablo. That's one thing I can uh, I can say about this. Like I say, we need we need to check really the end game how how it's uh, how it's work. Also, uh, the game have a cool filter system. Uh, cool filter system, but it has uh, the item. So far, uh, it has like item set and stuff, but it doesn't have their. Uh, we don't have like much of like uh, item set right now, in in the campaign. And all of I need to uh, all the items that can, uh, come in here is like I need to craft them. And the crafting system is similar to, uh, well, Diablo system is similar to a passive uh, exile system in terms that you have uh, some item base you, you crafting upon, right? Like, for example, this uh, uh, opulent focus, which is uh, giving you, like, intelligence ward and ward retention. Uh, this, uh, the, the constant item base stats, and uh, it's very good for my build, and then I need uh, craft upon it. But uh, crafting system itself can break items way easier. Uh, as, as easy as it was like in Diablo, like, I mean, you uh, can only craft a couple of times uh, on pre-season Diablo and you get like a 30 millions uh, for crafting uh, another affix. Uh, this is even worse. 
at least in Diablo, you can uh, craft it faster if you get gold. This is like just uh, you, you crafting potential, it's so random here. But uh, the filter system, I can filter for a specific item base, right? So there's tons of like this uh, body armor, for example, or uh, offhand items. I can only like show some offhand items, but I can, cr I can filter for specific uh, opponent focus that I need for this build. Uh, so far, so uh, there's a little bit of disappointed in loot filters. Definitely better than Diablo filters. Definitely better than. Uh, well, Di does Diablo even have filters at dawn, right? Definitely better than uh, Grim Dawn filters, uh, but not as uh, on pair with uh, Blade filters from um, uh, Pacific Exile. Yeah, because uh, you know, for me, uh, the end game is like Diablo. You farm uh, some dungeons for loot, and uh, that's all about it. Uh, so for me, it's a mid game. Uh, very disappointed. Uh, thanks for the tutorial, but uh, I already like, gave a level 100 character. <laughs> well, okay, mate. I see. You're already an experienced player. Well, this is like. This is the stuff I'm discovering, like going through uh, experience myself. So it's not not coming from like some other second uh, second uh, hand experience. This is my first hand experience. I need to wait passive exile too, right? Uh, for sure. That in quest through for a good RPG. Uh, I, I I don't have like any. Uh, any hopes for a Titan Quest 2. Uh, in terms, I don't think it will be that, that good in, uh, on the release gate. Uh, for sure. But, uh, Passive Exile? That's a different question. So we have a better, uh, better test for a uh, pass of exile in uh, at the beginning of the su summer, right? Insect. That was the boss fight so far. Now second phase. She just uh, rip herself apart. Okay, here's the second phase. No mind. Uh. What are you doing? Get back over here, you fiend. If I request uh, to will be a uh, or or a survivor, <laughs> I, I I don't know about that. I like I say, I'm, I'm not having like very uh, ho big hope about it. I request, so not not to disappoint myself. I know that the the first game, you know, if you remember, it had like a lot of uh, a lot of problem on the release date. The first game is t took them years to patch it and get it to a, a proper. Yeah, Pass of Exile most likely be out late at 2024, early 2025. I'm not sure it's the summer. I really love the Titan Quest. I think that the second will be at least as good as first. I mean, yes, but uh, like I say, the, the second game took uh, the first game took us like a couple of years until we get uh, anniversary edition, right? When it, uh, they fix most of the bugs and uh, get the balances sorted, so it's a wreck on uh, it was a wreck on the release date. 
Which is uh, really, honestly, like uh, the RPG cycle, you need uh, a lot more years to de develop, uh, to go through the action RPG cycle, because there are so many things to do. Uh, the builds, all the testing, uh, all the balancing issues. It's really hard, like, uh, the, I, in my opinion, why is there so little uh, successful action RPG on the market? Because it's really hard to develop it. Uh, it's required this... Uh, a long uh, development cycle compared to like other games it definitely not like a, a one a one and a half year cycle for a far cry or assassin creed or like for a, a battlefield call of duty summoning dark powers not a bad idea, but your execution of this little rebellion is horribly messy. Let me show you how it is done. Show it. Jassa is dead then, just as he promised. This would be so much easier if you had died with her. No matter. I can still take what I need. You can feel the epoch spell fading as if through it were being drained somehow. Like, just kill her. Like, what are you doing to kill her? You think this is over? <laughs> you know nothing of the power I've been given. Orobis showed me the way. All I needed was the key. And you brought it right to me. The power of the epoch is mine. Well, is it all the campaign? We still uh, didn't kill the Emperor guy, did we? Speak as a uh, forgotten knight in the end of time. Because uh, I wanted the quest to be like uh, good, but uh, uh, it's an entirely different studio and uh, it's not even uh, clear yet if they are following uh, the same gameplay model. All we know is that the settings are the same and uh, you pick up two masters like before. Chances of this being a, a masterpiece are low, but uh, we can hope, right? Uh, I, I hope they're gonna take, they just, they're gonna not invent a new wheel and just take this, uh, the masters that Titan Quest had already, all the skills, which is already balanced and just bring it like to life anew, alright? There's still uh, some skill that works, uh, maybe would be uh, appropriate in order to uh, make the game feel f fresh, you know? Uh, well, and then probably not, not, will not be able to bring all the masters right away from the beginning. Uh, but it's okay to concentrate on lower masters, just have a, a good quality and good of uh, good balance between them. Let's uh, get bringing all the masters and quests already have right now. Um, oh wait, that was all the campaign. That didn't explain anything. <laughs> wait. I just want the, uh, them uh, to remain uh, the same, and uh, it's look like uh, that from the trailer. Well, at least in, in terms of say it, uh, settings. Wait, it was a campaign, but there is nothing. Like, <laughs> what happened about me going back into past and killing the emperor guy? Who is the emperor? Is is it uh, this uh, champion uh, of the Hor horned god of the harlot? Is the actual emperor? Dude, this is so messy. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk with, with this guy. Welcome back, traveler. Took you long enough. Where is the ap of this? Ah, uh, her. Just missed her, I'm afraid. You showed up a minute too late. Why didn't you stop her? I missed the part where she was my problem. You want to stop her? Stop her. Leave me out of it. You want to stop her or stop her? At least I did stop her herself or something. She did, uh, she did something to Epoch. It feels different. The Epoch? Show me. Oh. I see. I've seen this before. But that means... What happened? She drew on its power to create those rifts in time. A little trick Oribis must have taught her. From what I can tell, she's clumsy with it. She working with Oribis. I need to go back. Back? When exactly? 
do you intend to go scouring all of reality? She could be anywhere, any time. You have no way to find her. What can I do now? Give up? That's what I'd do. Okay, right, I'll give up. <laughs> but if you insist, I'd start by restoring the epoch. Best to have it ready for when Apophis shows herself again. How do I do that? That's the problem. I only know of one way, and I don't know that you're ready for what's in there. I can take care of myself. I've heard that before, too. Take it into the monolith of fate. Repairing the lost timelines will help restore power to the epoch. Tell me more about the monolith. No. Just no? Yes. If you're really going in there, go speak to Agony. She's more patient than I am. Farewell, traveler. And good luck. Thank you. I guess. Stay safe. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So yeah, and so I agree with, uh, on the theme. Uh, the Tendon Quest was still my favorite action RPG. Grim Dawn's the battery in just about everything. Uh, but uh, the setting just uh, doesn't interest in me. So I really want a Titan Quest 2 to be uh, the uh, improvement of Titan Quest 1. It's, uh, if Kratos was making it, uh, it'll be almost certain it will be. But uh, an entirely different team uh, who have never made an NPC before, not so much. A Grievous House uh, action NPC is uh, very hard to make. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the setting over here, like, in terms of the settings, they <laughs> not really great too. Right, like we, we we never talk about setting of La last epoch, uh, but they definitely not better than Grimdon setting for sure. Especially how how much of soul and heart they they put in that campaign. <laughs> Let's see how much of soul and heart they put in end game. Oh yes. Agony. Yeah, this all 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 been agony. So she has at least proper name here. I know what the knight told you, traveler, but the only one who knows if uh, you're ready is you. I'm ready. Then hold fast uh, your fear and walk through the gates. The monolith of fate holds your only hope. By stabilizing the chaos, you will restore the power of the epoch. The monolith of fate. The monolith of fate is the medium through which one may explore uh, many alternative timelines that may branch from ours. I see now that you are ready to explore the winding paths of the monoliths. Be careful through each turn, each choices will make your journey more strange and perilous. Do not lose yourself, traveler. Goodbye. Wait, I jump? Do you feel it? Oh no. Traveler? The shackles of fate. Binding tighter. A puff is slipping beyond your reach. Your fate is set, and it always ends with me. Come, see for yourself inside the monolith. There are other realities that fought against their fate. But no matter their sacrifice, they fell. Champions, empires, gods, or in the end, aberrations. There is no escape from the void. There is no escape from me. Okay, is, is this the final boss I need to fight? Uh, consider me too. I really hope Tendon Quest will be uh, an impro improved Tendon Quest 1 and not like lose the core uh, theme for the original game. Uh, yeah, about the environments and, uh, and details in the rest of the environments in the construct, I saw those environments already in, uh, in Diablo 4. I saw those sky the same kind of environments in uh, Paths of Exile. I saw them in uh, Wilson. I think that Wilson, in terms of environments and uh, uh, the overall uh, feeling of the story, like uh, the soul of the game, done, done much better job. Despite like we call it Wilson. 
uh, the end game is losing like uh, well yeah and end game was was actually people did very didn't enjoy the end game in the Wilson like uh, like I say I have a friend uh, who played it with friends and he said it, it, it was really great like we play uh, we played with him like a lot of uh, uh, what is it called artifact back in the days uh, but he was also kind of RPG fan. Uh, he said like it was, the Wilson was a really great ha game for him playing with friends like you know to, to just a deep there for like one hour or two uh, slaying monsters increasing difficulty it was great mm -hmm. it wasn't so great for me so and I, and I could have never uh, played those games for me so I knew yes yeah, I, I, I got it I got it so let's see what we have here so uh, acolytes body armor uh, we don't care about this one. They have 20 elemental resistance, so I probably want to break it. Uh, there was a helmet which was good at base for me. Uh, but it doesn't have like a good stuff over here. Uh, so I can't rec really recraft it much. Uh, scepter, scepter, scepter. Uh, spell damage, melee damage. Uh, we don't care about this one. We don't care about this one. We don't care about this one. Melee fire. Don't care about this one. Wait. Was this uh, spell damage? Okay, spell damage we want to take. Never mind. Spell damage we want to take over here. I try to chance to take. Um, so this we don't care. This one, intelligence, physical resistance, we can try to extract it out of this. Uh, this we don't care. This we don't care. And this we don't care. Well, there's, there was the mental resistance, but who gives shit? So let's see. So it want uh, to shatter this thing. Elemental resistance. Uh, okay, that's good. And uh, one kill on shard. That's not good. Spell damage shard. Okay, that's that's better. Now we need intelligence shard. Physical resistance and uh, okay, that's mm. wasn't wasn't that great. Uh, so let's buy a couple of more shatter runes here. As much as we uh, sold there, and let's see if there's any uh, any good bases we can have from here. Base melee increase poison damage, poison resistance. So it's interesting, but it's not good for me. Um, so this is a base we want as my armor for now. Like uh, armor, cold resistance, stun avoidance is definitely better than my current base. Uh, but uh, all of the stats on it are not good. And I can't, I don't have like a... Uh, plus one to wonder in spirit and uh, spell damage. So they have spell damage, but I don't have like ability to put an intelligence there. There is like a normal base over here with 15 fortune potential. But again, like, uh, we can buy this as, as a base here. And wait until I get uh, something. So uh, I was... Uh, Okay, uh, I wasn't, I guess, I still am a resistance to the model, uh, modern taken RPGs, but uh, Last Epic was very enjoyable for me when uh, I played a pre-release and I'm enjoying it now. So this is, has increased my interest in Pass uh, of Exile too. Well, that's one of the gameplay videos uh, I wish uh, was a look, a look great. Uh, I'm uh, mostly sure, uh, the sure the Pass of Exile 2 will be a great success. Uh, the cre uh, their grinding gear knows how, how to make a good game. Uh, for sure, unless they're gonna go and blot at it. So we want more of that uh, cop thing. Um, we, we can't craft it because we're gonna be just wrecking uh, its fortune potential right away. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put something into into storage right now. Over here. Uh, you know what I want to do. I want to go back to Divine Era, to the t uh, observatory sink, and see if I have like enough favor uh, to get some pre-rolls on this. Old man like me uh, to uh, uh, approach his 40, uh, 40 is like very picky when it's come to games nowadays. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, actually, I'm not very picky about games, but I can complain a lot. So we have 1200, uh, 1200 favor here. 
uh, place lens uh, to alter uh, what prophecies are appears uh, to modify them. Lenses give you touches. Uh, let's see. I think Shant plus 11, Dance Exiled Mage. Um, unique, okay, a specific dungeon. That's about Monolith, right? A rune, uh, a rune of sh a Shaping. I don't know what the Rune of Shaping is. Death of Mortal uh, Eyes, okay, we can't select it anyway. Death of Siege Golem, 5. Grief of Chaos, Monolith, Arena Key, Death of the Boss. Okay, we don't have like uh, enough shit for this, for these prophecies. There's monolith, uh, glyph of despair. We do need the glyph of hope. Death of immortal eyes. What is the immortal eyes? So. Huh? Yeah, uh, the same here. I'm pretty sure that despite uh, your self-proclaimed RPG is my primary genre, it's uh, watched and uh, kept up uh, on far more Path of Exile stuff. Uh, I think that. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm playing a, a lot of action RPG instead of watching them. I think uh, last epic and Diablo 4 will be a dead once it's released. It uh, it's releases. Uh, well, uh, is it Diablo 4 already dead? <laughs> Not dead? <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you talking? <laughs> I saw I saw the Diablo 4 already dead. For me, this game just didn't click. Uh, you know, like, that feeling when you play the game and uh, it's instantly feel like uh, you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it's uh, what it's saying. Uh, Constantino. For me, actually, I play this and I like it instantly. Yeah, but then, then I, I, I start like picking on the stuff more, and I, uh, I would, uh, came to conclusion. Listen, campaign mode was mediocre. Uh, so let's say like we have this quill stuff, the prophecy. Let's see how we can modify it with uh, the lens. Alright, so uh, let's check stand in the Welcome. lens. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Uh, increase chance for per rank for find set item. All right, cost uh, eight hundred. Let's say we want uh, find a set item, right? Let's say we want to find a set item. We also want to get this uh, celestial scepter. It's like way better uh, weapon base with my current base, uh, right? Uh, damage over time, spell damage and melee damage is like, uh, something I'm using. Uh, while melee damage may be not necessary to have, spell damage where and increase damage over time is like perfectly fine for me, way better than current sync. Um, so I require a rank 4, so I can't even buy it, never mind. I can buy some lower lenses, chance per rank to find boots, uh, find one uh, handed sword. Chance to prank to find one handed maze. Alright, let's see. Increase chance to prank to find glyphs. Runes. Like, we do want the runes, right? Uh, runes, runes. No, actually, we, we want a glyphs. We want a supporting glyphs. So, we want the glyphs. Yeah, let's go for glyphs. Here we go. Where I can see my rank here. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, so for me, the game is just. Uh, I did disagree about Diablo before. I will only get a better. As same happens with Diablo Three. It's got a better with uh, every season. Uh, and the difference between Diablo Four, uh, Diablo Three, and Diablo Four now is uh, they actually listen to the community. Uh, so like, uh, I I doubled, uh, I played the season three for like uh, uh, three hours. It's definitely feeling better than. Uh, then the first uh, season or pre-season for sure they uh, make uh, way more improvements to this uh, to, to overall game feel but I feel very bored of Diablo right away it's just oh my god like the same goblin is the same goblin they they ne 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 nothing changed there like uh, in terms of like the game loop uh, so I just give up on the season right away uh, it's definitely gonna be better, but it's also getting more expensive as well. They're gonna release a DLC, and the DLC gonna be spare, gonna cost like what 60 euros, 100 euros. At some point, I'm gonna be able to afford it, and uh, if I not be able to play it, I'd, it's probably it's better for me to give up right now. Yeah, I mean that is fair. Uh, I like a lot about Last Epic and uh, understandable without you going to YouTube since they explain everything in game. 
It uh, has a decent build of variety due to uh, the skill tree. The end game is meant to, uh, to be good and it feels like uh, respected your time. This is target farming and the crafting system. The story and delivery, uh, those are ours. Diablo 4 is currently dead. Uh, as soon as uh, they drop the uh, expansions, all the casual players will come back and streamers uh, will stroke the hype for the uh, own benefit, so it's not over yet. Yeah, like streamers who will be able to afford the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so where is the, fac uh, the factions? Why? Right, so uh, rank rewards. I have a uh, 45% chance of runes and uh, ascendants uh, to be preserved when used on, uh, on the items that requires at least Circle of Fortune rank 1. Next reputation is uh, 400k. 400k. So let's see if we pu put in the alliance over here. The one that giving me a chance to uh, uh, find the Gleeve, right? And then we get in this Prophecy of uh, Leaf of Despair. Uh, yeah, let's try. Let's try this. I sure want to claim the uh, wheel of uh, prophecies in the constellation in this world. Okay, constellation roll for something else. Idols plus twelve. Or uh, or eight idols. We're gonna have like the stuff here to do this. Because of some dark to be my poor offices. In my opinion, Diablo 4 uh, is a sl uh, slammed to the ground because the people expected a lot from 100 year games. Absolutely, right? So, uh, uh, basically, what we have here with Last Epoch, uh, almost the same st stuff, ex uh, the same experience as you uh, will get in Diablo, but for a way cheaper price. People are more lenient with the games because of uh, the price tag and because it's made uh, by the group of gamers for, for gamers. Yeah, uh, you yeah, won by uh, gift in the expansion. Diablo for main games was uh, practically a one and done, and I feel like you uh, won't be doing much as the last epic is in the mid uh, long run. Hello again. How um, you? You're the prophecies. Well, I mean, we can do it like uh, from a different menu anyway. It gave me like XP. Sure. So let's go to that monolith thing. Uh, the end game is here, chat. The end game is here. Let's get our first XP experience with it. The only farming end game so far that I'm actually enjoying, and I think they're doing uh, the right thing with it, is Pass of Exile. But they uh, went from uh, from uh, from uh, uh, I, when I played Pass of Exile like two years ago, I still weren't enjoying the end game to, to the most. Right, I actually uh, gave up on the game end game. Uh, right now, the end game is. Uh, Something I'm, I'm can find myself enjoying in Pass of Exile, despite it's not not my kind of gem in in, in general. The endless farming thing. Yeah, they expect a lot of uh, because of uh, the most well and no action and RPG. Also, they spent ten years on it. They have a massive uh, team and lots of money. So they then produce an all style, no substance products with no uh, longevity. So we're talking about Diablo 4 here. The cherry on top was uh, the huge price tag and uh, massive overpriced cosmetics. Yeah, this was brought by Microsoft, right? Uh, that's a smart company. They will make Diablo great again. Uh, that's actually that's actually uh, what I'm also hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, this is some robotic scum over here. Falls of the Outcast. Look, uh, what are this? It's like some kind of map here. So we have uh, echo information. Uh, undead enemies have 20% increased damage and health, increased item rarity and player modifier, increased experience gain. Uh, okay. Echo rewards, cleft, uh, time stability, tan, uh, timeline stability. She don't know what, what is this, uh, timeline stability. Up to 22 bonus timeline stability, too. So I'm interested in glyphs here. Uh, echo information, though. We can go over here. 
Gain frenzy and haste when hit. Increase item rarity, increase experience, uh, piles of gold. Time, okay. Uh, Tome of exper uh, experience. Interesting. Uh, experience gain. So I don't want enemies to have this frenzy and haste. This one, the rare helmets. Uh, enemies help us 25 to all resistances. Increase experience gain, runes. Well, let's go and grab this icon information here. So start. Let's go and start on this thing. Uh, yeah, maybe that will be a uh, true for uh, Diablo 5, but uh, uh, a merger that a size will take several years to have a real impact on the culture of the businesses at home. Also, uh, a mess that generally uh, behinds off with the studios. Yeah, about the merger, that, that's also true. That's also true. So it's level 56, is it? That's saying. Oh, we're, we're seeing that, uh, a level of enemies here. Yeah. Time lives unlocked 1 out of 10. Empower timelines unlocked. Monolith completion. Uh, okay, gather. Uh, gaining from. Uh, Bonus stability gaining from enemies. So we just need to kill the stuff. Basically, that that that's one. At least we do have some end goal here, like getting that uh, the stability shit or whatever it is. This guy definitely chant here. Yeah. That's about I can con conquer it. So open portal. So open portal, let's see. What about my loot? Echo of the world. Quest completed. Huh? So there is a chest here. Okay, that's my reward from from completing this. I fix the shards and stuff. Yes. So they still have a forge thing. She's not doing anything here. Uh, let's see if they have any good items here to buy. Uh, armor, increased movement speed, increased uh, dodge rating, um, which is okay too, but not really okay. So uh, this is uh, offhand we we want for my uh, for my actual offhand. Doesn't have a good start on it. So uh, your reward are uh, linked yeah. to the percentage of enemy killed in the instance. Wait, really? But there was like, some some kind of uh, stability shit. Okay, so this, this this stuff I conquered here. It's leading me to a different one. Uh, runes, time, stability, up to 25 bonus time of stability. The game tells you this uh, and it's why you have a, a kill bar. It says some kind of uh, bonus time stability. So it, it is a st time stability here. Stability alternative timelines are unstable. Stabilize the timelines by completing an objective inside of each uh, time uh, timeline. Echoes farther away from the timeline entry point here uh, are more unstable. Completing this will provide more stability challenge and rewards. Destroy the key still.
Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. Took me some time. With her despair, chance to seal the affix instead of upgrading it. The silly affix is moving to its own slot, leaving its old slot open for a, uh, uh, a new affix. That's interesting. And we got a bunch of Glyph of Hope, that's exactly what I need for crafting right now. So we have like more runes here. Timeline stability, increased item rarity, increased experience gain. Enemies have increased health and uh, damage. Pass of gold. Uh, more more runes here. So let's go uh, on this one. She looks for exalted items too. Well, like so far nothing nothing about this exalted. I know that we can benefit from crafting materials because we have very little of those. <laughs> I, accidentally. Yeah, a reward of solar is more modifier, etc. But once in, uh, uh, in an instance you have a, a kill bar. No idea was the optimal kill amount with this time taken, but I guess there will be a video about it. There you go, shrine star. There is no kill bar over here, mate. So it, it, it is something about. Okay, there it is, never mind. Nine, nice. That's a good shit. Now the water shrine. Okay, idols, idols, idols. Loot. Uh, this is a good thing. This is a good shit. Usually. There's just a bunch of items here. Slaughter them all. Okay, so that, that, that's the keeper like right? that we need to kill, right? For this stuff. Let's just go and slaughter more enemies, yeah. Especially because this guy is just willing to follow me. So we're getting that, that bar field. The bottom stability. Kill the big guy. Oh, never mind, he's still alive. That's the that, that, that's all the enemies here. That's all the enemies. Up in a portal, there was a couple of items lying around. That's fine. Not gonna go in back in uh, for this. I have a normal one. Run of removal. Uh, okay, that's that's good. Deutsch rating shards. That's also okay. Yes. Let's shop for. Uh, so we got a big idol skin. Chris projectile speed of the marrow of shards. And Chris projectile speed of the bonnular. 
Warded to Ancient 20. Critical Strike Shields was all skeletons. Uh, necrotic damage, no, none of them are good for me. Uh, there is a new ring. So we don't care about this armor. Uh, there's intelligence here, probably. Probably okay. Tournament. Uh, the Wand of uh, Astrology. Base, okay, so uh, the critical strike, increased necrotic damage. There is necrotic damage. But I guess if you're red, are uh, okay. Not just break it. Damage over time, elemental resistance. Uh, cold damage. Cold damage, melee damage. Okay, so this one uh, I was saying uh, that I want as my base. Right, so it's uh, damage as leech as health. Uh, melee damage, increase in necrotic damage, chance to poison on hit, uh, chance to shotgun hit. So we want to increase the necrotic damage. We don't care about melee damage, uh, leech, uh, right? So th this will be like replacing my current stuff right away. Uh, so Ward Decay Threshold plus 62. Uh, poison resistance, increased health regeneration, so we don't care about this one. Less damage every time taken. Uh, which is probably actually better than uh, my current one. In terms of the base item. Armor increased mana regen, so we don't care about this one. Uh, we do care about this one, so. Damage every um, minions, uh, lightning resistance. So we need physical resistance here and we need intelligence to put it. On 21 fortune potential. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, wait, increase color, uh, all the attributes. So I don't care about this one. Let's start with this guy. Necrotic damage over there. Uh, there was melee damage, uh, leeches health, a uh, chance to shock into uh, in the hit. So can I uh, can I get this uh, rune of ascendance? Chance item to be a unique or set item. Uh, rune of shaping or. Uh, we're also implicit, uh, implicit on the item. Uh, Roots of Discovery. Add a random tier affix to all empty affix slots on the item. Increase chance to roll rare affixes. Alright, a rune of refinement. Roll the valuable, uh, okay, valuable all, all items here. And destruction. Where is the rune of. Uh, or is this over here? Uh, our Glyph of Despair. Has a chance to uh, seal an affix instead of uh, upgrading it. The sealed affix is moved to uh, its own slot, leaving it uh, all slot open for uh, you to add new affixes. Um, okay, okay, so like, uh, let's start with upgrading, uh, trying to upgrade this one necrotic damage over here. Right, let's try to upgrade the necrotic damage first and foremost. Let's see how uh, how hard it'll be. Twenty-four. It can go from one to twelve fortune potential. It's got me. It cost me three and uh, twenty-two necrotic damage. Uh, very very good. We want to get it to tier five. I'm graded. Fifteen fortune potential. Sore. It's got like fifteen. I'm using this glyphs of hope that twenty-five percent. A percent chance to no cost, and there is also per chance, percent per chance for critical success. So it's not th this one saying this is so easy to get to break the item, right? First, like you're rolling okay, and then you roll, and suddenly don't have fortune potential at all. Um, okay, the cargo saying you can uh, use a uh, last epic database if you are looking for uh, specific items like a weapon. So we can use the rune of Ascendance uh, to turn a yellow item into a unique one. Uh, well, how 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 is the database gonna be helping me if I'm looking for a specific item? I do know for what kind of item I'm looking for. Uh, like for this uh, item, for example, for this base. The problem is like to to set the filters so I can get it. When it, at least when it's coming for normal items. Right, for uh, I can craft with. Like, this one is good for base, like I was saying as well. Okay, I'm grading it further. And uh, no fortune potential. Right, all this rune, Glyph of Hope, so just, just <laughs> Glyph of Despair. 
<laughs> well, we get we get the necrotic damage, so this is already better than we have before. Already better than we have before. Uh, for this one, we want uh, physical resistance and intelligence. All right, we want physical resistance and intelligence. We want to remove one of this here. Uh, damage to minions or yeah, damage to minions uh, perfectly to to remove it. But we don't have a grief of hope, so to, to, to yeah, maybe I keep this for now. Meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, damage wise, uh, eighteen hundreds over here. Oh my god, what are you doing? Eighteen sixty nine. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. So one K one K DPS twenty seven. Uh thirteen hundred, like that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking. That's a huge huge boost to my everything here. Can bring this one. I have a lesser uh, critical strike chance, but it doesn't really matter. Necrotic damage, critical strike chance shards. Yes. So shopping, selling this one. Uh, we're setting up this one as, as a base here as well. I'm putting the idols here. Uh, level up. Uh, there's more damage here. In pr uh, more damage. Twenty-eight hundred to twenty-eight sixty-eight. So this is basically doubled my my damage by the way. New new scepter. Okay. So what we have from this one? Uh, we have some gold. Then we can get more runes. All right. We have uh, a rare one to catalyst. It's just rare. There's a uh, affix shard, uh, more runes here, more runes over here, and a rare relics, rare relics. Okay, I'm interested in what uh, what those rare rare relics are. So enemies are forty percent chance to apply mark of death on hit. Okay, that's uh, that's not good, is it? Mark of death. What the mark of death was meant. They're not explaining it here, but I know like a uh, mark of death is so it's somewhere here as a pretty nasty sink, is it? Mark of death, mark of death. Okay, I guess like, we, we need to go for a uh, tutorial here. Um. Social ladder. Where where is where is the my god, uh where is the tutorial shit? Map quest faction, character inventory, skill passive virtual or social ladder. Uh, if her close increase damage taken. G Okay, okay. So circle faction items. But it's uh uh it's, yeah. Mark of death, like with, with all of this. Huh? Huh? So they they they, they don't have it in 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 the uh, in the curses. So market for death is a curse that reduces all our resistances by twenty five. Okay, okay. So it's it's reduced resistances by twenty five. Right, you moved it cursor plus uh, it three times and then this, did I? Game guide, okay, game guide. <laughs> nice, okay, right. So it's reducing your resistances by 25, and so far only my voided resistance will be impacted by this, and physical resistance. Uh, everything else could, could hold for now at least, right? So I guess we, we, can, we can take the mark of death here. Level 58, bring it on. I 
I'll even look behind. Like, uh, uh, that's ensure killing stuff. So I also also have 6200 uh, damage by just like, jumping over there on those guys. Okay, so this is Mark of Death over here. Okay, I do explain in it a little bit. Yeah, we should be fine. Is it me or are we not really doing that much of a damage compared compared to before? I don't see like improvement of a damage here at all. Where's my twice more damage? What is this? This guy like looks like some goblin. Trash goblin, but it's not really. Well so far they also can get despite this mark of death or whatever, they can get through my energy shield yet. The guy with ma man to kill. I can still go and uh, kill more of those guys. Yeah, my main DPS just went uh, from 435 uh, to 708. Yeah. Like, uh, 1k uh, DPS, uh, it was okay for a campaign for me, like, slightly bit uh, 1k and I was uh, killing uh, everything uh, relatively fast. I'll bet, like, uh, we have we have a different, like, curses of DPS, or we have uh, multiple curses that we're dealing DPS all together. Actually, we can get uh, more than 3k DPS over here. Yeah, so damage is there, so the ability is there. But so the ability is something we need to work on. So like uh, I like I say, I wish uh, rewards that... Uh, uh, <laughs> that that point when we get killed in hardcore. And we run into tigers that have affix with uh, uh, increased damage on on heat, and he, then he's like one shot at me. And I was like, uh, wh what we can do better? Like we had uh, my physical resistance maxed it out. We had my uh, everything else maxed it out. So what we can do better is definitely more armor. We can do have like more armor. There is still a point to improvement over here, so I can get to. Like, uh, my armor is only 26%, okay, 20, 20, 26, like, with uh, all the bonus armor from. Other things. So, yeah, I don't have, like, uh, well, I'm saying the main uh, is a blood rip, so it's my agility spell. Main DPS is just exploding zombies, my, uh, a dread shades boost all the time. So, I don't have, like, direct cast to, uh, Cast DPS spell, so. Okay, look at this Rune of Ascendance. Another one of those, I'll take it. That is too much. 
Is that too much? Worthless anyway. Worthless. Yes. Evasion shop. Let's see how worthless or not uh, lose stuff are uh, the game. So this is worthless. Um, this is worthless. <sighs> worthless. Uh, worthless. I do need to replace my jewelry. At some points, physical penetration, penetration, and critical uh, resistance. So that's interesting, but not for my build. Uh, worthless. So that's another good thing, but not really good. Uh, the belt, poison resistance, cold resistance. It's so easy to get resistances in this game, uh, over resistances even. Uh, so that's like another problem. Like all the games we played before have some point when you, uh, the game just reducing your uh, resistances artificially. Like uh, happened with uh, uh, Kitabo fight in Path of Exile twice. The same goes for when you jump in on difficulty and Grim Dawn uh, Path of Exile. Uh, Titan quest, uh, but here just you stay in the, the same resistance as over from beginning, at least so far. Uh, okay, nothing good, nothing good over here. It's not the items for my base. I do need to, uh, to look for better belt as well. Hoping to get like the, the, this guy, the set. Necrotic damage if you have been a hit recently, 8%. Uh, so looking more or less okay. Well, it's dependent on the set as well. Dexterity health. So it's a very fast yeah. sale here. So into couple of resistances to 75 and critical avoidance as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, you actually, uh, in my opinion, you need to cap resistances uh, to higher than 75. Uh, because there is a lot of enemies who are actually reducing your resistances, and there there is like modifier like uh, the death mark, right? The twenty five minus resistances. So like everything is uh, captured and uh, over captured here for me. Uh, critical avoidance uh, uh, where, uh, where where is that? So defenses. Critical strike avoidance like eleven percent. Just to downgrade an enemy crit and you're to a regular hits. If you have 20% critical strike avoidance, or then 20% of crit against you, it will downgrade a regular hits. Yeah, we, uh, we have only 11 right now so far. And well, the armor so as well. The armor does decrease in. Uh, you need more amount of ar ar armor to get more percentages every time you level up, by the way. But not different from any other games we played. Okay, so this is something, uh, a unique item. Well, okay. Unique item, there's uh, rare rings. Let's have like uh, the Tomb of Experience. Let's go jump for the unique item. And we have 30% uh, endurance. Yeah, 100% uh, critical avoidance need to be. So stability, so th this is stability over here, and we're getting that bonus stability by destroying enemies. Stability 82, echo, uh, quest second locked, uh, run second camp. Run second camp, uh, This in this timeline, uh, the immortal empires uh, secure a decisive victory over the living outcasts to quell the rebellion. Return to the remains of the uh, outcast camp and find any survivors. Okay. So th this one will be improving stability of of these realms to get uh, access to this quest, which is bringing me back to to what to to back to the campaign. Okay, we, we need to go this way first. A rare relics to get this uh, unique re item. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say. Like I'm, I'm only like what five minutes here in this uh, uh, end game, but it, it is, uh, it is looking interesting. It's just looking interesting. Um, yeah, uh, the 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 thing is yet to determine the end goal of this whole leveling up process.
Be very sunny. Imperial Watcher. Dude, isn't the Warlock the, the most powerful class in the game? <laughs> I do feel like it. I do feel like a Warlock is just the, 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 the most powerful of them all. What do you say, chat? Okay, I can like Skull, uh, we miss over there, but we don't care about it much. I mean, we're playing specific Warlock, we're playing the Cursed, the cursed Warlock. We rely on like, a, a lot of the Curses to do a damage. There's no match of a skill from a Warlock tree, actually. Only uh, the Cthulhu Fissure. That's the only skill that, uh, from a Warlock. But there's also a modifier to, to my overall damage. Every time, 5% uh, for every curse on the enemy. For example, this is 2800. Okay, that's a re unique one. Nice. So this is one like 2800 over here. But I can do something like... Uh, 3600 right away. So he just curses those guys and get from 2800 DPS to 3600 right away. Okay, level, minimum skill level 8 now. And we just level up to. Okay, Toxic I don't really, uh, what is this? It's purple item. So are we, uh, are we in need to start farming purple items now? This, uh, finally a time. Trying to get all the stability, I guess. That's all the stability we need. Get out of here. Okay, we've got like a couple of, couple of interesting items out here. Let's see. Let's uh, see about this thing too. Nothing interesting inside. So level up, we still can uh, increase my spell damage a little bit. Plus one. I could see here like increase cast speed per point, increase the cast speed per curse uh, point, right? Whenever your damage uh, leaves uh, you below 35 health, uh, you cleanse all of the curses on you and on enemies within 50 meters and gain a ward per curse, cleaning this way. Uh, so this this is kind of interesting too, uh, for my points to spend. It's kind of interesting too. Uh, we're interested in the vitality sync. Uh, the Chaos Flame, uh, Mana Regen, okay, we, uh, there's Health and Armor, uh, there's Ward per second, we probably okay with that one. Uh, enemy can be anguished, more enemies could be anguished. Uh, haste, when you kill a cursed enemy and hit, uh, hit a cursed, uh, so a chance for haste could be good. And there is still uh, something over here we can uh, be interested in too. Which is like uh, necrotic damage. You and your minions have dealing with necrotic damage. Uh, there is that. Um, uh, there, there is reward retention, right? There is intelligence. There is armor. There is a damage. Something like that. Well, uh, let's yes. get through unique items. Unique items, unique items. So a ring, uh, increased minion damage, increased minion health, minion uh, critical strike. Chance to crit on a hit, 
Melee necrotic damage. Uh, okay, so maximum skeleton. This is definitely not for my build. Mm -hmm. This is unfortunately not for my build. Fire damage. Uh, this was Salen. This was Salen. Intelligence, stun avoidance, endurance, uh, prison rate, and dosh rating. So uh, this one we can potentially uh, compare to this one. Right, we do we do need uh, some more poison resistance. Necrotic damage instead of intelligence. May okay, maybe not. Maybe not shot. Armor, uh, endurance. So what about this one? Increase poison damage, intelligence, mana, span gain as ward. So mana span and ward is a low roll here. It's gonna be the 25, it's close to 15. Um, increase spell damage by 16 ch chance. So I don't see how this item is like, why it's purple. <laughs> It's have four, uh, yeah, I don't see how, why, why it's purple. It's look, it looks normal to me. I don't get it. What is this helmet over here? Armor increased mana regen. Uh, okay, it's not not a better base than this one. Armor and endurance, or maybe. There was a, a less, uh, it's a mage helmet. Never mind, let's armor. Less armor for sure. Uh, this was selling, this we uh, sell in. So this we're gonna put into storage. Uh, let's see, uh, shattering this, what are gonna give me? Wait, uh, okay, yeah. Not much of a stuff. Take care. Let's put it over here. So the next one is that a uh, unique item over here. Unique item. Affix shards. Let's go. Bring it on. It's also like uh, I'm comparing here like end game the Wilson had, right? Uh, the maps here so far that uh, in in this in this shattered realm or the like obelisk realm, uh, they definitely way uh, compact compared to the uh, Wilson one, and it's actually a positive thing. It's actually a positive. I prefer just this, uh, this compact to uh, the vast uh, Wilson maps. There's also the dungeon thing that we, we need to go and check it out, like for real. We did been to one dungeon so far, but it's on a low level, and this uh, looks like some hard sheet. There's another purple item here. So maybe we need to start uh, start sorting my items. Uh, they only like except purple only. No yellows. Too many yellows, but yellows still could be good for my build. So maybe not. Let's go and get this bonus sink. Uh, 
gonna stability because we can. Zero and perish. Okay, uh, three more stability. That's all of it. Out of this place. Where's my unique ring? Should be over here, right? Body armor, unique one. Okay, look wicked. And uh, some new idols. We do need to sort out for my idols. So the idol, the idol we got uh, increased health and minimum chance to play mark for the uh, or for death on heat, five percent. Uh, with a hel helmet, health regen word per second, chance to additional projectiles when you uh, directly cast chaos bolts. So this is cool for a chaos bolt sync actually. Uh, once sprig and form, it's not gonna work for me, sprig and form. <laughs> Spell, uh, physical damage, increase area with storm shield. Uh, yeah, it's not, not for my build, is it? What about this? Uh, spell damage, chance to poison hit, spell mana, chance, uh, to chill on hit. So, I see... I get, I get why the item is purple, so... The purple is item that uh, can exceed a uh, tier uh, tier five of his affix, is it? Right, it's like tier six uh, suffix over here. Chance and chill. Yeah, you uh, spring gun from now on. <laughs> Save the idol for it, good for a minimal build. Yeah, I'm saving uh, all the idols so far. Uh, it's definitely good, right? Mark for death minus twenty five ex uh, resistances. Uh, let's see what I have here. Let me just sell in the, the stuff. Yes. Uh, probably just sell in this one. Word per second, uh, 11. Well, we need void and intelligence on this. So we potentially can craft it. How much of the materials we have. Like, we have only two glyph of hopes. Probably gonna find something better before this. I'm uh, gonna be keeping this unique item for now. Critic resistance, poison resistance. Stun avoidance. Uh, minion damage. Okay, so this is probably going to my into my everything in, in the same box, salute. So this one is shattering. Next. Uh, what are this? Idols, idols, idols. I think shard, rare rings, tombs of XP. There is, uh, more affixes. Let's see about the idols. So enemies have increased health. It's fine. Bring it on. Um. So yeah, my my maximum word is a uh, maximum health. Is it? Word absorb damage before anything else. Uh, the decay occurs the more quickly, the more words you have. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 580. So basically, it's, uh, it's doubling my current health. Okay, those guys can do a lot of damage, I remember. Let's see. Maybe not that lot. I'm not really getting from my from my ward here. Yeah. 
Get me all of those items, please. It's a lot of uh, yellow ones. Still could be useful, still could be useful. So we, uh, we ha kind of have a bullshit items right now. So we're having a better, uh, a better chance of... What I'm lacking is a potential... Uh, Crafting materials for uh, to craft those items I have. Also, you know what? Those guys like feel chunky. Yeah? And uh, increase experience gain. Yeah, well, uh, there's way more elites here in this area as well. Also, you know, like, why we're dealing less damage to them? Because of those, uh, those are monsters that re have resistance to necrotic damage, as you see. Resist necrotic damage over here. So it's kind of dealing less, less in active modifiers. Can I see all the active modifiers over here? Or is it all here? Okay, you, you can probably see it because of my face shot. Let me get uh, the face out of here. So that there's uh, active modifiers only this in like four here. So ma basically, every map have a different modifier, and that uh, modifier from previous maps like not adding uh, adding together. Uh, which is How does that work? Okay, well, let's increase uh, some stun chance, which I don't really care. Okay, uh, this map is definitely uh, briefly again damage when hit. Okay, this guy briefly getting damage when hit, so uh, this is, could be dangerous. And a bunch of other uh, guys who are uh, resisting necrotic damage. Is okay, that? So level up here. Have we done with my dusk bringer? Uh, mm hmm. Uh, we can get more anguish here and rushing darkness. We can get this uh, cast speed and uh, curses. So like, uh, let's get let, let's get three points with a cursed seer. All right, let's get this here. Did I read everything correctly? Right, increase cast speed, increase cast speed uh, for curses when damage leave you. Uh, yeah. I think we want uh, that one, three points into that for my uh, overall survivability. Yeah? <laughs> we are assist necrotic damage, assist necrotic damage. Get that? Finally. Worthless. That is too much. Too much? No, it's not. Might have been more loot. What are you saying? This can be too much of a loot. That's a, a, a absolute heresy. Yeah. 
Now the guy who resists uh, necrotic damage can carry wide after two seconds as well. Better likes to just stun chance. So that's all the stuff we're gonna get a more enemies slain here. Alchemist Sash of Herb, uh, Avoid Resistance 51, Gain, uh, okay, interesting, Word Gain and Perfection Use, Increase Necrotic Damage 8, Necrotic Resistance 9, um, it was definitely an interesting one. Okay, we need to uh, play a little bit with those guys still. materials so uh, my build uh popping off like my mana regen is greater than the constant zombie spawn so i don't need to use the, the blood river at all uh and uh, when they explode i get a word speaking up and about the same value as my health so i'm uh i'm just like running forward casting zombies and areas and dies yeah that, that that's how that's how it's was playing for my build for uh 99 of the time 99 percent of the time then we run with that uh, tiger that just one shot at me <laughs> after like uh, uh, the game lulled me, in, lulled me into that uh, feeling of invulnerability. So there is a poison damage and those damage are all uh, a little bit uh, dangerous too. Yes. Because uh, you, you, it's going through your armor and shit. So it's doing more damage. Uh, I, Despite having 75 poison resistance and stuff, like, uh, I get quite a lot of damage from poison. It's burning through my shield, like, in no time at all. So that's one thing to, uh, to, well, uh, be aware of. Registration of stun received, intelligence fire resistance, necrotic immune damage, um, Void resistance. Okay, I don't care about this one, I don't care about this one. Uh, there's another one. Increase fire damage, increase damage every time. Poison resistance, a first rate middle player. Uh, it's not the best one. It's not a good one here. Uh, freeze rate, endurance charge, cold damage. The belt, however, like I, I, I can work with that here. Okay, we can work with this as well. Necrotic damage. Try and disassemble it. Vitality, fire damage, increase fire minion damage. Uh, that's we don't care. The mental damage, physical resistance. Do interesting physical resistance shard. Synchronic damage. No, look, it's time to disassemble this as well. Mental resistance, poison resistance. So about this. Uh, get there. Get a uh, start with shattering sync. And let's see what we can do with, uh, with this belt over here. So it's saying uh, 55, uh, 51 void resistance. Alright, necrotic resistance, we don't care. Increase necrotic damage. Uh, avoid gaining on hit. So necrotic damage, we can improve on that. Poison resistance, physical resistance. Uh, increase chance to find potions. Uh, physical resistance we we good to lose over here. 
So we don't uh, lose them. Okay, we do lose in a little bit. I'm losing some armor. Okay, the belt was giving me 58 uh, armor. But we've got an avoid resistance over the maximum. And we also can uh, work better on this one. Necrotic damage is tier 1. Does it give a glyph of hope here? So it's also uh, more fortune potential. It's minus 9 fortune right away. Damn it. Okay, Glyph of Hope preserve. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Glyph of Herb. Uh, good job. Finally doing some minus 10 fortune potential. Okay, Glyph of Hope worked. And what we want to do, we want to Glyph of Despair here. Over here. Oh, but I think it's max it. Oh, okay, okay. Ah. Well, it's got me 57 uh, necrotic damage, so it's like uh, more damage for me overall. Right, it's uh, 3k. So, like, uh, 29, 27, uh, 375, 3k over here. So, it's uh, a little bit more damage boost. Take care. I probably uh, should just put those items in, into storage because I'm not going to be using them anyway. Um, damage over time shards and Glyph of Hope. Okay, okay, Glyph of Hope. So we need more, more Glyph of Hope here, chat. So next we have there the idols, and now we have idols. More affix shards, uh, more affix shards. Quest locus is a uh, hundred stability. Okay, let's go. Let's do this one. Haven't been slept today, like uh, almost nothing. Again, we had so we, we did start the stream today actually uh, later. Have like air alarm after air alarm. A lot of them. And also, like, feeling super hungry right now. It's been a while since I actually uh, hit myself before. Okay, those guys that don't have, like, necrotic resistance, right? Uh, Looks like they die in, uh, relatively easy. Well, do the fastest one. But yeah, we did have the problem with that uh, necrotic resistant guys uh, previously. Despite we do have a shred. It wasn't like that effective. So like a necrotic shred are basically... Uh, how, how the, this worked, right? So we have like on the future for the um, necrotic shred. It's stuck uh, 10 times and can shred uh, resistance uh, by 5%. Uh, well, my, or maybe it only can stack 3 times over here. So minus 15%. So uh, necro necrotic resistance stacks like in 3. So it's not 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 that big of a shred, and we have a shred resistances on uh, on my uh, harvest ability as well. Everything just died. Yeah, those 
guys willing to kill. Those were the guys uh, to conquer the Echo. Chance to bleed on hit, we don't care about that bleed on hit. Let's work harder. Let us work harder on this. To get myself uh, to higher level. So we did start it with a level 56 today. Right, not much of a level up in those four hours. Did figure it out uh, quite a bit of stuff. We uh, talked about uh, a crafting system in the game as well. Extensively. It eludes me. Look at the shards. Impossible. I want to stabilize more of the timeline. Maybe like it's a waste of time actually. Most likely it's a waste of time. Stabilizing timeline here. Yeah, you also learned uh, how to open the guide. That was the uh, easy uh, half an hour. <laughs> yeah, expanding our knowledge of the game. For sure. Impossible. Okay, that's all of them stabilized. Get out of here. Okay, that's a bunch of bunch of idols. A lot of them really unique, so. Warden point uh, on potion use plus nine health. Um, so I don't care about this one already. Health on kill and increase minion scroll down recovery speed. Uh, stun avoidance increase light and damage increase minion light and damage. Increase minion scroll uh, call damage less over uh, over time damage taken. Spell damage so this we can remove. Shatter a necrotic damage uh, plus a skeletal mage. Oh, that's interesting. Less damage every time taken, a uh, minion chance uh, uh, apply a mark of death on hit. So we're keeping this one armor and cold resistance plus 4. Lighting resistance. So, like, uh, lighting resistance is the lowest one, so. See, increase healing effect in this potion resistance, physical resistance, physical resistance. Well, uh, we can remove this one to get this armor a little bit. Yeah, some slow, uh, slow down in leveling is to be expected, but overall, you just are going to speed up your rate of uh, progress the more you play. Yeah, for sure, like, uh, and it's the first time plays through, so uh, there's a lot of like other factors that prevent him from yes. from going like uh, do more optimal uh, run. Speeding up through the things like we uh, doing it right now in Grim Dawn, for example. Potion slot, stun avoidance. Uh, level 55, 99 gold. So, chance to bleed on hit. We don't care about any of those artifacts here. She has a, po a poison on heat and critical resistance. Okay, I'll, I'll say I'll I'll, uh, I'll keep this one for now. I think I could uh, just keep all of this for now. Take care. Still didn't bought any any new uh, so rare swords. Uh, so we don't need rare helmets, we probably don't need this one. 
but we can see that where the storm of Xperia is about. We can ray our rings. So let's see about this uh, rare helmets, 59 level. So it's also like uh, we're doing level 59 uh, realm over here, right? So that that's impacted my level as well. well I mean, like uh, the amount of experience gaining. On this, there's more more undead minions. I feel like undead should be uh, by default resistant to necrotic damage or something. There we go, level up. So you're not like undead, sir. <laughs> no, I mean like there's undead and fighting them, doing necrotic damage, and I feel like they for default are resistant uh, to or have some inbuilt resistance to necrotic damage, but we need to check out the database if there's any information on that. Stabilize her every few minutes faster. Again, we don't know if it's doing its, uh, if it's just doing the service of me with the stabilizing. Because this is like low level minions now. Level 62, they, uh, four levels below me. Assassin's are firing of remedy. So this one have increased critical strike chance by 67. Uh, mana increase mana regeneration. Void resistance, poison resistance. Which is interesting, but we don't have intelligence or anything. Quite a few items. So this way we need uh, a seed over, over here. Okay, get me that. No casting speed for my curses. Uh, didn't didn't feel like we do need that more casting speed, however. Because damage over time, it's casting like relatively very fast. And we just like need to recast it every like now and then. That's about all. Okay, I saw all of those guys. Into the portal we go. But like we gone uh, in this in this two uh, minutes or so, like three minutes after we like level up to 60 we got like two bars uh, array uh, XP away from uh, two towers to 63 so like I would say actual level up uh, gonna be faster now did they promise me uh, some unique helmets that didn't give me anything yes. or rare at least so intelligence I want intelligence as uh, uh, yeah, disassemble it. Break it, break it. Six intelligence, armor, and poison resistance. Uh, we don't care about this helmet. So this is the base helmet we want. Want intelligence, we want void resistance. 
Do we want void resistance anymore? We don't care about void resistance anymore. Uh, so we have additional armor, necrotic resistance, minion health regen. Okay, uh, I need to look into it. There's void resistance, poison resistance. We have physical, lightning resistance, increased spell damage. So it's not really that uh, that great, but I can uh, disassemble it. But did, uh, what? Yes. And sell into the shop. Intelligence uh, on those uh, gloves here. Increased mana regen, armor, increased minions. So dodge, critical strike avoidance. Yeah, we, bra we bracketed it. Is it? Yeah, zero, zero potential. Uh, what about this one? Strength, physical resistance, armor, increased movement, speed, war decay, threshold, better. Increased elemental damage, increased necrotic damage. Uh, okay, so this the base like we do want. Doesn't have a good... Uh, doesn't have a good stats on it. War decay, threshold, necrotic resistance. Uh, this was Salin. This helm is just not good. Spell damage, marrow shards. Uh, I don't care uh, about marrow shards. Okay, so let's see. Uh, clear this one. I just uh, want to shatter this one. I want to shatter this one. Attunement shot send to fortune, critical strike avoidance shards. Uh, okay, critical strike avoidance is not not bad, right? So like, uh, what do we do with this guy? Like dodge, avoid resistance, intelligence. We want more intelligence for this somehow. Plus strike chance, increase minion critical strike chance, armor forty and a critical resistance seventeen. So we don't care about any of this. Necrotic and armor. Uh, we want to remove the shit out of here. My intelligence, uh, you or the build? <laughs> Both. Both, mate. So let's say we remove random ethics here. That's not the one, one we want to remove. It's cost me four, uh, four po uh, potential. Oh my god! Okay, it's a brick. We just bricked it. Yes. Waste of items. Damn it. Take care. Damn it. So what is uh, rare se uh, scepters? Rare shields. I mean, I definitely want to see what this Tome of XP is. So let's take a look. But I don't, don't uh, like when uh, when the other branches are going. Yeah, you have more intelligence than me, so still playing online after all. Currently can even log in, so snack time. Oh, wait, like, is, the, is this still uh, the login problems are persistent? So it will be three days, so probably you should have fixed it already. So they they waiting until people just uh, give up on a game, and then there's uh, no need for uh, for a service to be uh, to be fixed. Set. Yeah, there's uh, there's a stupid cats over here, the tigers. It doesn't look like it's a problem for us. No problem at all. Okay, let's go and get more more shit. Tigers. This is 
interesting shape uh, map. Glyph of Hope, okay. How do you can get more Glyph of Hope? Like, I just constantly don't have enough. But you have. Okay, I already there, that's one. Yeah, my intelligence here, like, already is 62. But I, uh, I got a lot of that from crafting, to be honest. Right, so, like, I basically I determined what kind of stats I need for a build. Right, and go uh, and went with uh, crafting through the stats. Yes, all over the place. Uh, I can sometimes go most of the day uh, without a, a significant issue. Think like 30 seconds transition uh, and a casual two minutes. But uh, then you get an infinite l uh, loading screen and have a alter form. Sometimes you get back, but immediately. No idea why it went slow. Otherwise, you get like uh, LE65, which means the servers are down. But it generally doesn't last long. Also, just uh, notice some funny thing. Let me refresh the page. Okay, we got better. They were showing you, uh, your icon without moderator uh, icon they can drop. For whatever reason. Twitch. The hell. You know what I heard uh, people complaining, like, uh, people complaining definitely a lot about... Uh, okay, th this is a tiger, this is a tiger, this is a tiger. Uh, complaining a lot about their uh, service down, but also they complaining about that they can't use the uh, cosmetic items in uh, offline. So, like, people saying, why are the offline players are punished? Uh, yeah, you can use the cosmetics offline. So, what is this storm of XP? XP. We have a certain uh, um, 133k. It's giving me like 2k XP. <laughs> this is as much as killing one monster. Wow, this is so worthless. Yeah, it's showing now uh, as well. It just reflects the page. Wow, like it's so worthless. 2k XP per term, and we got two of them. What? Yes. Well, that uh, didn't look good, for sure. Person called in Chris Necrotic Damage 16. Uh. Right, eight intelligence only. So not a good a base. Didn't got much of items here to 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 raid. Shatter. So it's going to some gold. It's going for more stuff. This is like at least unique, a rare scepter. I say rare and rare and not unique. Stability. So there's a quest echo. Should I just go jump to this echo? And this time I'm immortal, so uh, contains and complete a pass. So we should only need a what? Let's check out what will this mean. We can bring to to complete stability here first. We can work on that too. Yes, uh, DRM, so if you could use uh, them offline, people would uh, simply mod them uh, in it. A lot of people play action and pressure completely solo, so uh, no letters, uh, letters but uh, all cosmetic for free uh, would be uh, uh, good for them. For sure. Okay, we want more runes. Let's say, like, uh, I'll, I'll take this runes over here. 
some golden rune. Let's say uh, let's say we jump over here. We want to see all of this, all of the shattered sink before we go in on a break. Okay, more tigers. Now oh, look at that. My arch nemesis. Gotta like, stop leaving loot behind. Your death has come. It eludes me. Okay, finally, I was about to say, like, I'm feeling like I'm not leveling up my skills at all. <laughs> And finally, there it goes. Some levels to the skills. Your death has come. Okay. So this one increases the in damage you don't care about. Increase uh, damage over time. Okay, uh, damage over time is like interesting things, huh? Maybe you can preserve the boss itself as well. Okay, we got all those skills level up. Get out of here. So I don't think uh, there's any. Okay, it's... I should have checked out how much of the gold would give me. Honestly. They didn't look that big. All that much. Increase bow damage, increase uh, chance to shirk and hit, chance to bleed and hit. Uh, let's put that in the storage. Because we're gonna be playing Rogue as next class. Then be sure time taken. Uh, increase gas speed, well, of course. Uh, I don't care about this one. Lighting in this, we just sell in. Yes. The shop, um, increase necrotic damage. So this one disassembling. Um, this one we sell in. Sold. Um, sold. Attunement, uh, elemental resistance, throwing attack, mana regeneration and mana. So it's, it is interesting, but we want instead of attunement intelligence. Just poison damage, so it's, uh, uh, that's what we're selling. Shatter plus one necrotic shards, okay, that's yes. very good. So we are selling, uh, let's buy, let's buy a couple of those. Take care. Uh, for this, for this, uh, for this sink, uh, I don't even know, like, what we want from this anymore. Like, uh, we suspect this great scythe is actually not doing uh, anything much. A word gain per hit, uh, it's not much of a word as well. Increase movement. Uh, word granted by the uh, skill tree is also granted to your minions. Uh, we just don't care about this one. Poison and bleeding, we're not going in that way. Uh, so, uh, harvest his instant kill enemy that are below health threshold. And a spirit shard. Each time uh, he just uh, harvest grants spirit shard up to 13. When you have certain shards, you next use harvest, consume them to deal more damage. Um, is damage about mana with a uh, shard. Uh, consuming spirit shard also grant you existing minions more damage for four seconds. Is buff, not, not stuff. Harvest consumes them uh, to deal more damage and grants you mana. So that, that, that's why I like we can get this mana thing. Needed two points. So I was thinking about removing this area of scythe, which is I don't think it's gonna work in uh, that much. Finality. Yeah. So at least we can we can uh, we can spend the last three points over here. It's not really that bad. It's a little bit uh, different from my planning. I was planning to go more in critical damage, but yeah, harvest is not my main attack skill anymore. 
never was. Uh, okay, Spirit Plague that deals more damage with Alzer, more damage per. So it's also not bad here. So that's what you set on. Cast speed uh, can chance to fear enemies. Right, uh, there's area of affix as well. Spirit Plank uh, spread when you uh, critically hit strike. So we don't care about that one, that's not going to be activated that much. Mana efficiency increase duration. So I wonder about this one. Uh, mana efficiency and durations. It doesn't feel like it's uh, important uh, anymore. Uh, well, Rotten Corpse uh, core, so more damage per point. We definitely can take this one. Uh, next was a uh, Cthulhuic Fissure. So what we were doing, we get in this it deals more damage to uh, monsters and elites, which is uh, kind of good. Spirits now uh, target you instead of enemies, and uh, when you, you are tormented or tormented duration, you in refresh. You get additional spell damage uh, and endurance threshold. Uh, spell damage buff. Okay, so this would uh, not go in for. Do more direct damage which uh, seconds is active, and uh, you leash a portion of the damage dealt. So that's interesting too. Double if you are cursed. Uh, so uh, we get more da damage against uh, big uh, big monsters. I'll take this. We're gonna be thinking about uh, this more. You can now have additional fissures active at time, uh, but spears are released less frequently. Yeah, I don't care about this one. Basically, it's it, it is will double my spirit release, right? We can, we have spirit release fre frequently fifty. And we have a minus 50 over here, but if I can cast more uh, more fissures, will it make like my fissures actually uh, effectively double the damage? Double spirit release? I feel like that, that's uh, the mouth behind, but I um, could be wrong and it's hard to test. For now at least, when we uh, don't have much of XP learn, uh, earning for the skills. Uh, so there's a Bone Feast, Bone Marrows, uh, Bone Curse deal more damage. We don't care about the damage and the curse. After directly casting Bone Curse, you also cast Bone Curse on the hit uh, next time. So we also don't care about this one. Bone Curse became an uh, aura. Yeah. It's consuming more mana than I can uh, currently replenish. So, uh, Mark of Death can be last longer. Right, the Burn Curse have a uh, Mark of Death for two seconds, but cost more mana. Okay, so two seconds. We can uh, we can definitely improve improve the duration of the. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So that that's also shredding uh, Mark of Death. I, I, heard, I, I told you I heard the, the Mark of Death somewhere. So that's what they're doing. Uh, what we are doing here, we can increase more uh, bone armor if it can, uh, to last longer. We also were getting uh, cast speed. What we are getting here? Cased, right, for it can last longer here. Uh, health gain and cursed uh, damage versus cursed enemies, sword gain, but spirit plague. Uh, transponded flick surrounded enemies with fear. Transparent fix around and it's a sphere on arrival. Uh, I don't care about that anymore. So, bleeding damage, uh, haze duration. So, longer haze duration transponder is actually pretty good. Two seconds against, uh, three seconds against, uh, three. So, what is the key? Uh, arena key. Okay, okay, let's see what this arena key is about. So, we definitely want the runes. More undead minions. Collision your amulet. Sh 
Show me that again. We're gonna be checking out a little bit later at eight. Where where are those guys like hiding? Like just appeared from nowhere. Like. There's another uh, purple item. Maybe shot. Eleven bone stability. There are some more purple items here. Okay, look at this. Soulfire Bastion key. So we got a key from here, from killing just the, the, the plebs. So I guess like, not, not only you're getting uh, the keys from uh, the, the final chest when you finish the dungeon, but you also can get like uh, the items are uh, included in the... Right, okay, never mind. This is, this is not the area about the key. Never mind. This area is... These are glyphs. Never mind, chat. Forget what I was saying. Anything? Small stability here on a gone. Okay, shrine. Okay, that's a good one. As good as I get. I almost pick up that item. That's all the stability they can they can give me. I'm out of here. Run discovery, uh, discovery, discovery. Uh, you need the hope scene. Refinement. Yes. There's some katana. Interesting. Uh, melee damage, increased critical strike. Uh, okay, I don't care about this one. Uh, spell damage, minimum uh, spell damage, minimum bow damage. Don't care about this one. Spell critical strike. Nope. Elemental damage, uh, cast speed. So there's unique uh, amulet. Health melee uh, increases cast speed. Physical damage from minions. You can summon a wolf. Uh, a wolves up to your maximum number of uh, companions. Okay, this is not for this class for sure. Plus seven to all attributes. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's reduce assembling. Spell damage, reduce assembling. Vitality, dodge, elemental resistance. Uh, not working with that. Don't have like enough shit. Uh, mo increase movement speed to 22. Attunement, dodge rating. So eight armor only. Well, we are disassembling this as well. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, this, this one we, we want to disenchant. Shatter. 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 Speed damage shards. Take 
Yes. Uh, let's get a uh, more of this. More loose, uh, uh, more shatter sink. So anyway, what do we have next? We have the key sink. Okay, the key, we almost uh, reach this stability, but I almost also reaching my limit here in terms of how hungry I am. So we're gonna be continuing uh, this end game uh, study, learning session uh, after after a short break, chat. Well, short break of a couple of hours, so on an evening stream, like usual. Uh, meanwhile, take care of yourself, stay safe, uh, whatever we do, and have fun with it. So, yeah, uh, summarizing, summarizing what happened today. Uh, we uh, get our skills on level 18, uh, so we're gonna be posting it um, again with uh, last epoch tools, uh, the current build shenanigans. We talk a lot about crafting sync. Uh, for this one, we got like what? Uh, we got this uh, rotten co uh, core. For this one, we got uh, finality. We're trying to get the spirit shards uh, for uh, Kasunic fissure. We get more into uh, eradication for bone curse. Uh, we got more into uh, duration of uh, Reaper mark, death mark, and for my uh, teleportation thing. Uh, so we got uh, we got we got. Uh, ourselves more uh, more haste right more haste uh, but armor duration is something also uh, that we can do uh, when it's uh, talking about passus we finish it with a uh, dusk bringer we started on accused seeds we want three points over here so like another survivability feature and um, we also get one point into the fleeting crown right you have a chance to gain haste uh, when you kill the cursed enemy uh, so th this this is not bad, not a bad thing for us, not a bad overall. Item wise, uh, we did replace my uh, belt, we did replace my uh, gloves, replace my uh, offhand. This is basically better base, and replace my helmet and replace my base scepter, which is like uh, basically double the damage the DPS we have. It was a spirit plague and uh, the Cthulhuic fissure. All of them sitting on 3k right now. 7k from transplant uh, that's a short su a summary short summary again shot uh take care of yourself and uh, see you next time see you guys